Chapter 2121 Unable to give the killing blow the old man was truly worthy of being someone from the senior generation. His sharp vision instantly noticed that the mechanism sect's patriarch's condition was off. He was bedeviled. His aura was chaotic. And even his samsara power was messy. That was why the old man hadn't interfered this entire time. He had been watching to see how long Chen handled him. At this moment, the mechanism sect's patriarch had chains gathering around him. Divine energy flowing into his body. He was actually absorbing the underground divine elixir. That was the root of the mechanism sect's karmic luck. Once it was sucked dry, the mechanism sect would decline. They would run into constant misfortune and be very quickly destroyed. Even if he just absorbed a portion of it, it would affect the mechanism sect's karmic luck. They would be fated to run into trouble. With the great era going on, that was very dangerous. The patriarch had been in the midst of attempting to break the barrier to the next level and had been in a critical juncture. He had long since sent out word that he could not be disturbed for anything. The day that he went into seclusion was before the gathering of past and present heroes. So he didn't even know what had happened. As for the later attack on the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, that had been decided by the higher-ups and Zhao Wuji. They were essentially blindly following Zhao Wuji. When Long Chen had stabbed Evil Moon into Zhao Wuji's body, he had planted the spiritual imprint that Xia Chen had provided into Zhao Wuji's body. Even if Zhao Wuji had noticed it, he would have simply assumed it was some kind of hidden injury. It would take him a few days to wipe it away entirely. Xia Chen had used that spiritual imprint to find the entrance to the mechanism sect's minor world. Long Chen had immediately unleashed a powerful attack that broke the core of the mechanism sect's formations upon entering. Just as their experts thought that they could bring him down with their numbers advantage, Long Chen had unleashed his world extermination flame lotus. They hadn't been willing to disturb their patriarch at the start. So Long Chen's hadn't stood on courtesy. He had disturbed him on his own. The patriarch was startled awake in the middle of his meditation. A heart devil had immediately invaded his Dao heart, causing him to become bedeviled. His soul was currently fighting his heart devil, and he still had no idea what was happening in the outside world. In his current state, he had no intelligence. He was running entirely on instinct. The majority of his power was focusing on resisting his heart devil. So he had instinctively absorbed the energy of the sect's divine elixir to power himself. As the divine elixir flowed into his body, his armor began to transform. Two horns grew out of his head, and long thorns appeared on his back. He looked like an earth dragon crossed with a human. Kill. Just kill them all. Since even the god-killing armor has been activated, just kill all of them. In any case, the mechanism sect is no more. Zhao Wuji roared crazily. His face twisted. He knew that all the divine elixir underground had already been sucked dry by the patriarch. In other words, there would no longer be a mechanism sect in this world. They could only close down and rebuild a new sect furthermore. This sect could not be called the mechanism sect, or the curse of karmic luck would make sure none of them had good deaths. Old man, I probably can't keep going. Long Chen felt a chill upon looking at the current state of the patriarch. Having now taken this monstrous state, the patriarch was emitting a terrifying divine pressure that formed a restrictive domain. Even without being in this domain, a sensation of death filled Long Chen's heart. He didn't know what technique this crazed fellow had used, but that armor of his was horrifying. At this moment, the patriarch's armor quivered. A ray of divine light shot out of his forehead, shooting at Long Chen like a sword. In that instant, time froze. Long Chen felt the flow of time around him change. By the time he wanted to dodge, it was too late. The old man appeared in front of him grabbing his arm and dragging him out of that strange spastime. A light sound rang out. The sword light passed right by Long Chen's body. A thin black crack appeared from the heavens to the earth. Ripples began to spread from the crack. The patriarch has destroyed the walls of this world. It's going to collapse. The mechanism sect's disciples cried out in fear, trying to flee. However, before they could reach the exit, a sharp attack slaughtered them. You only want to leave now? When my boss first arrived, he told you to run, but you didn't. It's too late to think about running now. Gu Yang, Xia Chen, Guo Ran, 
and the others now appeared, blocking the exit. I'm begging you, let us go. We don't even understand what's going on. Please, we have children here. Amongst the crowd, a woman holding a baby cried out. The core of the mechanism sect was where the disciples gathered. The outer edges were where the wives and children were. The core region had been destroyed, but the outer regions were still intact. Countless crying families were trying to run out, but the exit was blocked by the Dragonblood Legion. Seeing the crack in space slowly growing, they despaired. We, Gu Yang didn't know how to reply. Originally, they had planned on pulling this vile mechanism sect out by its roots, not leaving even a chicken or dog alive, but seeing these people, open a path, let them through. Long Chen's voice resounded through the air, but boss, if they leave, Xia Chen was concerned. What? Is our Dragonblood Legion afraid of others looking for vengeance? We're not as garbage as the mechanism sect. Are you really willing to kill these women and children? Asked Long Chen lightly. No. Fine. Open a path. Gu Yang shook his head with a bitter smile. He waved his hand. Seeing that, those people rushed over. Some of the mechanism sect's disciples also charged out, trying to slip in among the crowd. Immediately. Some of the Dragonblood warriors picked them off, slaying them. Gu Yang sneered. Since boss says that he wants to give you a chance, we'll give you that chance to live. But with the minor world in danger of collapsing, the women and children leave first. Got it? If certain people try to slip in amongst them, don't blame us for being merciless. If you want to get out earlier, then help send up the women and children. Furthermore, aren't you all men? To survive. Are you competing over spots with your women and children? Bah, I really look down on you lot. Those experts of the mechanism sect were unbearably ashamed. This minor world was being torn apart, and it no longer possessed the ability to heal. Its collapse was only a matter of time. The patriarch had gone crazy and absorbed the divine elixir. As a result, the mechanism sect would vanish from this world, and they could only run. However, with the Dragonblood Legion in their way, rushing wouldn't matter. They could only help to organize the families. Guo Ran. Time is pressing. Let's go strip the treasure houses, said Xia Chen. Flying out. You know where they are, asked Guo Ran delightedly, following him. What a joke. What do you think we came for? If I couldn't confirm the location of the treasure houses, why would boss bother making such a big move? Laughed Xia Chen. As soon as he had entered, he had studied the structure and layout of this minor world. He was sure where the treasure houses were and had already passed that information to Long Chen to avoid having them destroyed. Zhao Wuji, what do you think you're doing? Are you worried about your treasure houses? Worry about yourself first. Zhao Wuji had heard Xia Chen and Guo Ran's conversation, and seeing which direction they went, his expression changed. He was about to make a move when Gu Yang attacked him with his spear. Zhao Wuji blocked with his sickle blades, but he hadn't had time to get a new set of armor. He was still wearing his old set, and it had been specialized for blowing up Long Chen. Now, it was only giving him a fraction of the support a good set of armor should, causing his combat power to sharply drop. He was forced back over and over by Gu Yang. Li Qi, Ming Guan, just hold the lines. I want to fight him myself, shouted Gu Yang, stopping Li Qi and Song Mingyang from joining in. Suddenly, the world shuddered. Li Qi and the others hastily looked toward the battlefield. Another giant crack had appeared in the sky. That black crack was the black of death. Old man, kill him, shouted Long Chen. The old man had ignored Long Chen after pulling him out of danger. As a result, the second attack from the Patriarch only narrowly missed Long Chen after he did his best to dodge. The sword light blew right by his nose, causing a burning sensation that made him tear up. He's gone crazy. Killing him would be unfair. His attacks possess Samsara energy, a power that can confine even the laws of the heavenly Deos. If he was in his normal state, you'd have long since been killed. But since he's gone crazy, his techniques are wild. This is a good chance for you to temper yourself. Having a chance to exchange blows with a fourth step nether passage expert is precious. Perhaps you can see a bit of the secret behind the Samsara realm. Even if you can't, accumulating some experience is good too, said the old man righteously. Long Chen suddenly ducked hard. 
A blood-colored streak of sword light flew right over him, and a mass of his hair was torn out. Damn it, that's ridiculous, shouted Long Chen. He was stuck within the patriarch's domain. He didn't know what law this was, but time seemed to be flowing slow around him, causing his movements to be sluggish. His reaction speed was slowed down. Long Chen suddenly jumped, even pulling up his legs. Another streak of sword light shot past his feet. Another crack appeared in space. The world rumbled intensely as its collapse was sped up. A giant black hole appeared in the middle of the cracks, looking like a gaping maw. Bastards. How did my mechanism set turn into this state? Suddenly, the patriarch's body shuddered. A trace of clarity appeared in his scarlet eyes. When he finally took in the desolation of the mechanism sect, he let out a heaven-shaking roar. Chapter 2122 The Old Man's True Strength Patriarch Kill them, shouted Zhao Wuji upon seeing the mechanism sect's patriarch regain awareness. Zhao Wuji was currently covered in blood and in a miserable plight from Gu Yang's attacks. Without his armor, his combat power had been reduced by 80%. He couldn't even match Gu Yang. I know you. Your Long Chen. The patriarch finally recognized who Long Chen was. Suddenly, the world trembled and the giant black hole in the sky exploded. The ruins on the ground poured toward that black hole. At this moment, as those broken fragments of buildings were sucked into the black hole, it was possible to tell that millions of invisible blades were slicing within that collapsed space. Everything that was sucked in vanished without a trace. The sky was like a dome that had been pierced through. It was now gradually collapsing even further. The hole grew, sucking in everything around it. It was like the very world knew that it wasn't going to survive much longer and wanted to bring everything within it along. It was truly a sight that caused despair. Those who destroyed my mechanism sect, you'll all die. The patriarch roared. Having regained awareness, his Samsara power was no longer chaotic. Long Chen felt the world spinning around him as if he was stuck in a giant whirlpool. He could only watch as the patriarch charged toward him, and he was powerless to dodge. Before this, he could rely on his sharp spiritual perception to dodge his attacks. But now, he was experiencing the true power of a fourth-step nether passage expert. This Samsara power was not a kind of energy, but a kind of law. Long Chen's power could not contend with this law. The old man finally interfered. The heaven-splitting blade slashed down destroying the space binding Long Chen. He hastily retreated from the battlefield. The old man's blade came to a stop when it met the patriarch's blood-colored sword. When their two attacks collided, it was like a star had exploded. The world shuddered, and the black hole in the void grew quite a bit bigger from the impact. The old man stood in the air, unshaken by the attack. As for the patriarch, he was forced back three steps each step causing the space behind him to collapse. Who are you? demanded the patriarch. Shocked, he instantly saw through the old man's cultivation base and couldn't believe that a third step nether passage expert had stopped him. Someone who only relies on external power to cultivate isn't fit to know my name, snorted the old man. Ignoring the shocked patriarch, he turned to Long Chen. Look well, once before. The heaven-splitting battle sect was called the heaven-splitting divine sect, while the heaven-splitting blade was called the heaven-splitting divine blade. Back then, the nine forms of split the heavens were known as a divine art. However, without the heaven-splitting divine tablet, there was no way to bring out their full potential, so we gradually declined. However, even without the divine tablet, a divine art is still a divine art. As long as you immerse yourself fully within it and trust it, it can give you unlimited power. Watch. Just like that, the old man began to walk over to the patriarch, holding the heaven-splitting blade. With every step, his indomitable aura cloaked him, and the world shuddered. Die. The mechanism sect's patriarch was startled as he sensed a frightening killing intent lock onto him. Black rays of light shot out of his scales, emitting ear-piercing sounds. Those black rays directly pierced the old man's body, making Long Chen jump. However, he quickly realized that they hadn't pierced him. He didn't know what technique the old man was using, but his body would always move the slightest bit to dodge them. It was just that he was so fast that it looked like he was being struck. 
Wearing armor to cover your weakness only says that you have no confidence in your own power. The Samsara runes carved into your armor say that you aren't confident enough in your own Samsara power. The hidden mechanisms within your armor say that you aren't confident in the runes on your armor. The poison on your hidden weapons says that you aren't confident in their power. Do you not have any confidence? Is someone like you fit to be a sect leader? The old man's aura continued to rise as he walked forward. His voice resounded through the air like thunder. Long Chen, listen well. Using the sixth sense to sense the heavens doesn't mean sensing the heavenly deos, nor does it mean attuning to the human Tao. It is a realm where the heavenly deos are merged with the human Tao. I cannot explain it any further. If you understand, then you understand. If you don't, then you don't. After I taught you the eighth form of split the heavens, you assumed that you had mastered it since you could use it. In reality, you're wrong. The reason the heaven splitting battle sect could stand tall just from the nine forms of split the heavens is because the profundities within this divine art are unimaginable. Even I cannot say that I've comprehended more than a tenth of it. You used the eighth form just now, so I'll show you my eighth form, bastard. The patriarch suddenly noticed that the old man's aura had risen to a frightening level. Every step he took caused his aura to jump. After the seventh step, rumbling rang out from the old man's body. The space behind him split open as an image of the heaven-splitting blade appeared behind him. That giant heaven-splitting blade caused the collapsing space to actually slow down. In the end, space froze, as a will which subdued heaven and earth filled this world. At that moment, the old man seemed to become the master of this world. Sounds faded away. The only thing that could be heard was the resonance between the heaven-splitting blade in the old man's hand and its projected image behind him. Finally, the old man took his eighth step. He raised the heaven-splitting blade, and it merged with the projection behind him. Split the heavens eight. Sharp divine light erupted out of the heaven-splitting blade as it finally slashed down. The patriarch let out a howl, and all the scales on his body suddenly flew off, gathering into a giant shield in front of him. Layers of energy whirled on top of the shield. That was his Samsara power. He had merged several layers of this power in front of his shield. Having sensed just how terrifying the old man's attack was, he was going all out with his defense. Like a bolt of lightning, the heaven-splitting blade sliced down. A light sound rang out. This move, Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. This attack from the old man contained a different kind of will. That was something that he had only sensed from one other person, Yu Zifeng. Yu Zifeng specialized in the sword Dao and placed all his trust in his sword. That kind of fanaticism was like that of a madman. Every strike of his sword Qi contained all his power compressed into one line, which made it so frightening. As for the old man's attack, he had also compressed all his power into one thin line. Long Chen didn't know how he had done it. The old man's attack went straight through. The patriarch of the mechanism sect split in two along with his shield. He had been killed. Just at this moment, the minor world's collapse hastened. The entire minor world had been split in two, and it could no longer endure this damage. Let's go. Long Chen waved his hand. He grabbed the patriarch's corpse, wanting his armor, but more importantly his spatial ring. This old fellow had been attempting a breakthrough. No one could guarantee a 100% chance of a breakthrough, so they would pull certain treasures out of their astral spaces and place them within spatial rings. That way, if they died, they wouldn't be bringing those treasures with them. Some rare spatial rings possessed great defensive power and were difficult to break. This patriarch was wearing one such ring. Gu Yang, stop fighting, run. Long Chen saw that Gu Yang was still fighting Zhao Wuji. Zhao Wuji wasn't able to counterattack, but he was still able to hold on. I'll go all out. Gu Yang suddenly roared and actually used his own body to receive Zhao Wuji's sickle blades, while his own spear pierced Zhao Wuji's body. Zhao Wuji's body exploded. His Yuan spirit killed along with him. As for Gu Yang, he was left with a large hole in his body from Zhao Wuji's blade. Why bother? Li Qi was speechless. If I couldn't even cut down an injured fellow. I'd be embarrassed Gu Yang's current state was quite frightening as his flesh began to rot around his wound. But he was still smiling. Xia Chen and Guo Ran also returned. From their excited appearances, it seemed that they had struck gold. 
Boss, what do we do with these people? Li Chi pointed to a group of people Novaloon.com The women and children had already fled. The ordinary disciples had also been let out. Only some of the higher-ups were blocked by the Dragonblood warriors. They numbered in the few hundreds, but they were Nether Passage experts. They were looking at Long Chen in fear. With one word, Long Chen would decide their fates. Long Chen coldly said, The Mechanism sect has committed countless evil deeds. At the slightest urge, you'll annihilate a person's entire family. People like you should be killed to the last. But my Dragonblood Legion doesn't like killing people who can't resist. I'll give you a way to live, but as for what you choose in the future, it's your own matter. Scram. Those experts were overjoyed to hear this. Quite a few of them bowed deeply to Long Chen before flying off. Boss, you're just letting them off like this? Aren't they a group of evil people? Said Gu Yang unwillingly. Long Chen said, Do you think they'll live just because we let them off? Do you know just how many people the Mechanism sect has offended in the past? After escaping this minor world, they'll probably be hunted down by the entire world. There are plenty of sects who hate the Mechanism sect to the core. There's no need for us to worry about it. Let's go. Long Chen and the others flew out. They had just left the minor world when it collapsed behind them. The Mechanism sect had forever vanished from this world. Chapter 2123 On to the next the void behind them exploded and formed a large black hole that sucked away everything around it. After that, the black hole slowly shrank until it vanished. The mountain range they were in had a hole in it like a giant beast had taken a big bite out of it. The Dragonblood warriors stood behind Long Chen, watching as it all happened. They all had excited expressions. So what if it was a sect whose roots stretched back into the ancient era? Wasn't it still destroyed by their Dragonblood Legion? Old man, are you alright? Long Chen looked over at him. Ha! Huh. That fellow had the realm of the fourth step of Nether Passage, but he lacked the corresponding power. He relied entirely on a tortoise shell to survive, without having any of his own skills. Fighting his heart devil also consumed most of his power, so killing him was only a matter of time. Although I can't say it didn't take any effort, he wasn't much, said the old man indifferently. Long Chen smiled. Good. Xia Chen, let's move on to the next. You're still planning on fighting, asked the old man. Upon coming to the mechanism sect, Long Chen had told Xia Chen to create a formation that could link to the heaven splitting battle sect's transportation formation. It was a temporary formation set up to only allow a single person to go through. The old man had been told to be ready to assist, but he didn't know anything about Long Chen's plan. He, strike while the iron's hot. The stone race is so arrogant. By destroying them, we'll show the Alliance head that the Martial Heaven Alliance isn't as weak as she thinks. That way, she won't be forced to always give face to others, said Long Chen. The old man was reinvigorated. He had always been very dissatisfied with how Ku Jinying acted conservative. To use the old man's words, women weren't straightforward enough. Let's go cut down those stone heads. The old man also had some understanding of the stone race and he knew that there was a deep enmity between them and the human race. Xia Chen had finished setting up the formation. Everyone stepped into the transportation formation and vanished, reappearing in a desolate world of stone. There wasn't a single blade of grass growing anywhere in sight. Boss, I've used up all my materials. This is all I can do, said Xia Chen. Xia Chen had calculated his materials very well. As a formation master, he had been allocated a certain amount of resources for various parts, using them to maximum efficiency. His calculations had been so perfect that he had used up exactly everything in this final formation. Nice job. Long Chen praised Xia Chen. After Xia Chen had joined the Dragonblood Legion, this was his first time really showing off his outstanding talent. He was truly powerful. With his assistance, the Dragonblood Legion was like a tiger with wings. Long Chen was thankful that he had allowed Xia Chen to join back in the day. That had definitely been a wise decision. From the moment the Mechanism Sect and the Stone Race had sneaked their way into the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing Sparrow Race's territory, everything had been within Xia Chen's control. His enemies had played to the beat of his drum. Perhaps if he had enough materials, Xia Chen would be able to destroy this entire world. 
Based on the runic mark, Shiling Feng should be behind this mountain range. There aren't any formations present. We can enter as we please, said Xia Chen. The formation that Xia Chen had set up to bring them here was a special one time transportation formation. For ordinary transportation formations, there needed to be two nodes for travel between them, but the one that Xia Chen had set up was like shooting an arrow. The point was controlled by Xia Chen. He had perfectly calculated the distance and used up all the resources he had with frightening accuracy. Let's go. With the old man here, we can have plenty of confidence. Long Chen chortled and walked forward. Inferior human race. Step into the stone race's territory and die. After an incense stick's worth of time, they passed through the mountain range, and a giant stone forest appeared before him. Two of the stone race's experts barred their path. Long Chen swung Evil Moon casually, unleashing a black streak of light that cut off their heads. He then kicked those heads into the depths of the forest. They smashed into the stones and exploded. A group of stone brains also dare to insult the human race. Just who gave you that courage sneered Long Chen. Long Chen took eight steps forward, each step causing his aura to rise. Seventy-two acupuncture points inside his body activated at once. His saber slashed. Split the heavens eight. Long Chen's saber was like a celestial blade slicing apart the cosmos. The huge saber image filled heaven and earth. It was just like the old man's previous attack. The old man couldn't help smiling. Long Chen's comprehension skills were truly frightening. He had learned to control the essence of his previous moves so quickly. Long Chen's attack tore through the stone forest. Nothing could stop it. The stone forest was cleanly split in two. Courting death. A furious cry rang out from the depths of the forest. A giant figure appeared and a terrifying aura rose. One large figure after another came shooting out of the forest. The one at the head was actually golden. Beside him were thousands of experts from the stone race. It took Long Chen a while to find Shai Lingfeng in their midst. The stone race's experts looked very much alike, with similar auras as well. If Shai Lingfeng wasn't still missing an eye, Long Chen might not have been able to single him out. Long Chen, Shai Lingfeng gnashed his teeth. Yes, it's me. Didn't you tell me to wait until you destroyed my entire race? I'm rather impatient, so I came to destroy you first, said Long Chen lazily. Destroy my stone race? Arrogant words from a person that will die here today. The golden stone race expert roared and attacked, unleashing a powerful punch. Golden light swirled around his fist, freezing the surrounding space. In that instant, Long Chen felt a suffocating pressure. It seemed that this golden stone race expert was not at all weaker than the patriarch of the mechanism sect they were truly worthy of being a race from the ancient era. This kind of foundation was frightening, but Long Chen had come with his own trump card. The heaven-splitting blade whistled through the air, slicing apart that golden domain. When it met the golden expert's fist, a powerful explosion shook the land. Golden light exploded. Your tone's pretty arrogant. Let's see just who dies here today, sneered the old man. The golden stone race expert was actually forced back as the old man pressed the heaven-splitting blade against him. The golden expert howled, and golden waves surged out of his body. The crystals covering his body opened up like devil eyes, causing his aura to grow dramatically. Boom. The old man and the golden expert flew back at the same time. They then once more charged at each other, meeting each other in the sky. The golden expert was like a blazing sun, making it impossible to see how their fight was going. The others could only hear powerful explosions echoing through the clouds. The race leader has blocked that old fellow. We can kill them, shouted Shai Lingfeng. The golden expert was the stone race's leader, an existence that had lived for countless years and possessed a rarely seen gold energy. In Shai Lingfeng's opinion, it was only a matter of time before he killed the old man. After giving orders, Shai Lingfeng immediately shot at Long Chen, not holding back at all. All the stone race's territory shook along with Shai Lingfeng, and strange fluctuations flowed toward him. Here, I am supported by the ancestral land's divine energy. Killing you is as easy as killing a chicken. Long Chen, you sent yourself to your own death. Shai Lingfeng laughed malevolently, all the energy of the earth gathering around him. It was even visible to the naked eye. Long Chen didn't tarry. 
he summoned his divine ring and the azure dragon battle armor. With a slash of evil moon, they clashed and Long Chen was forced back several steps, his arms shaking. Shai Ling Feng's power had grown much greater since the last time they had clashed. Die. Shai Ling Feng whirled after Long Chen like a gale, his fist smashing toward Long Chen. So what if you're supported by your ancestral lands? It won't change your fate of dying here today. Long Chen actually put away Evil Moon. It was still in slumber and couldn't help him. Thunder rang out as lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back, and a lightning spear materialized in his hand. HMPH. Thunder Force is unable to harm my stone race. No matter how many tricks you have, you'll still die here, sneered Shai Ling Feng. The stone race did not possess bodies of flesh, so they were unafraid of lightning. Is that so? Lightning exploded out of Long Chen, turning this place into a sea of lightning. Wild lightning soul battle spear. The sea of lightning was then absorbed into one giant lightning spear that pierced toward Shai Ling Feng. Chapter 2124 Battle with the Stone Race Shai Ling Feng blocked the lightning spear with his arms, but after a thunderous explosion, cracks covered his arms. They had almost exploded. Flying back, Shai Ling Feng was horrified. This lightning, the stone race was unafraid of lightning, but Long Chen's lightning possessed the power of annihilation. It was not a kind of magical art, but more like a law. This law of annihilation was something that posed a threat even to Shai Ling Feng with his stone body. Long Chen smiled coldly. It didn't matter if you possessed a body of stone or even steel. As long as you were alive, you could be killed by the destructive power of heavenly tribulation. Of course. Shai Ling Feng's body was special and did possess some natural resistance to thunder force, or he would have been blown apart by that attack. As Long Chen and Shai Ling Feng fought, the Dragon Blood Warriors swarmed the Stone Race's experts. This time, the Dragon Blood Warriors weren't fighting individually. Instead, they formed a special formation with their numbers. There were over a thousand of them. They summoned their manifestations, and after being linked together by the formation, their manifestations transformed into a strange force field. The heavenly Tao energy of over a thousand dragon blood warriors gathered together. The warriors felt their souls linked together and could convey thoughts to each other. Bang! Gu Yang was the first to reach his target, and he unleashed a powerful spear attack. In the very instant they clashed, a huge amount of power poured into him, and his opponent, who rivaled a third step nether passage expert, was killed instantly. Haha! <laughs> Idiots of the Stone Race, today we'll show you the true power of the Dragon Blood Legion. Gu Yang laughed heroically. After forming this formation, the Dragon Blood Warriors were amazed to find that when their energies merged into their manifestations, they could freely share them with their fellow warriors. This was far more efficient than before. Back then, Guo Ran had invented the Dragon Blood Cross Slash by absorbing energy from all of them through their armor. Now, though, they could just pass the slightest bit of energy to Gu Yang with only a thought. There was no need for any armor linking them. Although each of them had only given him the slightest bit of energy, it was still energy from over a thousand people. That had caused Gu Yang's power to leak to the point that he managed to slay his opponent in one blow. Kill. Kill these stone heads. The dragon blood warriors were invigorated, and maintaining this formation, they crashed down upon the stone race. Sundering lightning heavenly wings, with a clap of thunder, Long Chen's wings merged into one, transforming into a blade that slashed down from the sky. The earth was torn asunder, and a destructive will filled the world. At this moment, Shai Ling Feng felt a sensation of death envelop him. Stamping on the ground, the earth around him began to shine brightly. He unleashed a powerful punch. The sundering lightning heavenly wings slashed down mercilessly and Shai Ling Feng's arm crumbled. He flew back. Die. Long Chen flew after him like a bolt of lightning. He needed to end this battle quickly because he was running out of spiritual yuan and spiritual strength after consecutive battles. The world extermination flame lotus and the eighth form of split the heavens in particular had used up a lot of his energy. He was not relying on Lai Long to keep going. His lightning spear pierced toward Shai Ling Feng's head. Long Chen. You cannot. Suddenly, a curtain of water appeared in front of him. His lightning spear struck the water curtain, pierced through it, and struck Shai Ling Feng's head. A hole was drilled into Shai Ling Feng's forehead, 
but it didn't go all the way through. Shai Ling Fen tumbled back, crashing amongst the stone. Fairy Zuayu, what are you doing? Long Chen looked at the beautiful figure that had appeared in front of him. It was the Nangong family's top genius, Nangong Zuayu. Due to her interference, his killing blow had been weakened. Otherwise, Shai Ling Fen would be dead right now. Long Chen, you can't kill him. If you do, you won't be able to leave here alive. You have to stop immediately. Nangong Zuayu sent him an urgent message, one that was out of concern for him and also of nervousness. Long Chen was startled by this. He counted Nangong Zuayu as a friend and didn't think that she would harm him. However, what did she mean by saying he wouldn't be able to leave here alive? Just at this moment, the old man's voice rang out in his mind as well. Long Chen, there's a terrifying existence hidden beneath the stone race's land. We should stop fighting and prepare to leave. Novaloon.com everyone. I am Nangong Yao. Can I ask everyone present to give the Nangong family some face and stop fighting for now? Just at this moment, a white-robed, middle-aged man walked over with a group of people. Dragonblood Legion. Pause for now. Long Chen was getting a bad feeling. With the old man's character, for him to say that he wanted to retreat meant that whatever was going on, it was even worse than what he imagined. It just so happened that they could retreat now with the Nangong family as an excuse. Just after the Nangong family's people arrived, more groups appeared. Long Chen quickly saw the Dongfang family's people, including their family head and Dongfang Yuyang. He then also saw Bidang Rushuang standing beside a white-haired woman who looked very old. She was staring at Long Chen with shock. There were too many experts present, so it wasn't convenient for her to talk to him. When she saw him looking over, she glared at him. Afraid that he would bring up that nonsense about how despite the two of them being drawn together, he couldn't marry her. The great era has come. It is a surge of geniuses but also indicates that a great tribulation is going to happen. At this time, the martial heaven continent must be united and focus on cultivating to fight against invaders. Junior brother Long Chen, you must understand this principle as well. I really can't understand why you have to act like this then. Is a little bit of disharmony worth fighting to the death? You've already destroyed the mechanism sect now you won't even let off the stone race. Does destroying the core forces of the continent really benefit you? The Dongfang family's head shook his head at Long Chen, sighing disappointedly, hearing that the mechanism sect had already been destroyed. Quite a few people gasped. Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang covered their mouths. Nangong Zuayu thought that the reason they had arrived in time was because this place was the central Xuan region, and that the stone race's territory wasn't too far from the Nangong family. Other powers also had eyes everywhere, and such a movement couldn't escape them, so they had rushed over. Originally, they had thought that any existence that was fighting against the stone race had to be some huge existence, but when they arrived, it was actually just over a thousand people of Long Chen's Dragonblood Legion. Just over a thousand people had dared to charge into the Stone Race's ancestral lands. Seeing the corpses of the Stone Race littering the ground, as well as Shai Ling Feng who had a hole in his head and an arm missing, people sucked in cold gasps of air. Was the Dragonblood Legion really so terrifying? At this time, the old man and the golden expert stopped fighting, retreating to their respective sides. The golden expert looked at the corpses on the ground, and killing intent exploded out of him. However, in his fight against the old man, he had used his full power and was unable to do anything to him. Now that he heard that the mechanism sect had been destroyed, he was shocked. The stone race actually had a secret relationship with the mechanism sect. They provided some of the divine ores in their territory to the mechanism sect and the mechanism sect secretly created formations for the stone race. Both of them were very secretive, and no one else knew about their relationship. This was why when Zhao Wuji had been defeated by Long Chen during the gathering of past and present heroes, Shai Lingfeng had interfered to prevent him from being killed. The stone race had never imagined that an existence as powerful as the mechanism sect would be destroyed. The stone race had even been preparing to send a message requesting reinforcements. Everyone's gaze is locked onto Long Chen, only to see him indifferently say, the master of the Dongfang family must possess great knowledge and wisdom. 
So could it be that you missed the fact that the mechanism sect and the stone race had tried to sneak attack the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race just before this, forcing us to hunt them down? Since you didn't know what had happened, don't you think it's hypocritical for you to judge us blindly like you're ethically superior if you're saying that the mechanism sect and the stone race joined hands to attack the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race? Then how are there no injuries amongst the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race? Sneered someone from the Dongfang family, clearly doubting Long Chen's words. Don't talk nonsense, scolded Dongfang Yuyang. Ah, can it be that we have to wait until a few of us are dead before counterattacking? Are you sure you have a brain in your head? Otherwise, why would you say something so brainless scoffed Long Chen? It was no wonder Dongfang Yuyang would chide this person. Let's not talk about meaningless things. Is the Dongfang family planning on acting as the judge over this matter? If so, then we'll first have to discuss whether or not you're qualified to do such a thing. The old man finally opened his mouth, his eyes shining brightly as he looked at the Dongfang family's head. Chapter 2125 Think it over everyone's gazes were drawn over to the old man once he spoke. In truth, just now. Quite a few people had been secretly observing and estimating him. The reason he drew so much attention was that he was clearly only a third step nether passage expert but was able to fight against the stone race's leader. Furthermore, seeing the dozens of cuts on the stone race's leader's body, they were even more suspicious about his identity. Is your distinguished self the master of the heaven splitting battle sect? Asked the Dongfang family's head. Yes, it's me. Someone bullied my family's children, and I came out to support them, the old man coldly said. I don't like wasting words. No one in this world is qualified to judge us men. If you don't like it, then let's fight. The old man didn't like this leader of the Dongfang family. Without distinguishing between right and wrong, he had first raised criticisms of Long Chen, irritating the old man. In the old man's eyes, none of Long Chen's actions were wrong. In fact, when he saw Long Chen actually choose to not wipe away the mechanism sect's women and children, even sparing some of their experts, he felt greater admiration for Long Chen's daring. The reason people exterminated their enemies down to the roots was because they were afraid. Afraid of those people seeking vengeance later. But true experts weren't afraid of that. At that time, if Long Chen had killed those people or even just stood by as he allowed it to happen, the old man would have felt a bit disappointed. So Long Chen's actions were particularly to the old man's liking. For someone to criticize Long Chen's actions immediately provoked him. Everyone, everyone, let me first say something. Nah really isn't the time for internal strife. Fighting amongst ourselves will only weaken the martial heaven continent's power. Every bit of power is precious. Every bit we lose means more danger. If you have the power then why not unite against outsiders, advised the middle-aged man from the Nangong family. Senior, these people are different from normal people. They think that they're the smartest, that they're the most important to the continent, as if the continent won't be able to survive without them. Thinking me weak, some of them wanted to kill me. Today, I destroyed the mechanism sect and came for vengeance against the stone race to show the other dog-eyed people that I, Long Chen, I'm not a weakling. If they want to come to me, then we'll see just who should be afraid of the other. I don't have much, but I have a group of fearless, hot-blooded brothers who will accompany me and anyone else who wants to fight to the death, said Long Chen coldly. Long Chen had observed that the people who had come here were people of great status from the supreme powers that had flowed down from the ancient era. Many of them were definitely looking down on him. His words were precisely for those people. It wasn't important if they wanted to look down on him. But if they provoked him, then they couldn't blame him for being vicious. If he couldn't establish his own reputation and prestige here, he would only find greater troubles awaiting him in the future. He would never get the time to properly cultivate and upgrade himself. Although he was just a life star disciple, his words were powerful. Even in the face of so many powerful and ancient experts, he was still domineering and mighty. Beating Rushuang side inside. Long Chen had more sides to him than the scoundrel she had taken him for at the beginning. However, compared to this domineering Long Chen, she preferred the teasing, slippery fellow she knew. 
that Long Chen felt more relaxed and real. This little fellow's very good. Girl, you should think it over. The old woman beside Bidang Rushuang smiled as she looked at Long Chen, whispering to Bidang Rushuang, Grandma, you've been fooled by him. This fellow is a shameless scoundrel, said Bidang Rushuang. Nonsense. These old eyes of mine have seen the whole world. When have I ever been fooled? With just a glance, I can tell he cares deeply about relationships. He's someone worthy of others entrusting their lives to, said the old woman. This old woman was the current head of the Bidang family and could be considered an ancient monster from head to toe. Even though Bidang Rushuang was a supreme genius who had been sealed for thousands of years, she still called her grandma. Since you know he cares about relationships, why ask me to consider anything? He already has women in his home, to the point that his home is almost bursting. What would I go over for? said Bidang Rushuang irritably. Foolish girl. Even if he already has many women, isn't there still a difference between them? The old woman smiled. Grandma, stop, or I'll get angry. It's very normal for men to have wives and concubines. As long as two people get along, why bother so much? Let me tell you, don't think that just because you have a nice face and a good body that you'll be set. This temper of yours isn't attractive. Be careful of having that girl from the Nangong family getting ahead of you here. TCH. Who cares? If she wants him, she can have him. Bidang Rushuang scoffed. As the two of them stealthily conversed, the middle-aged man from the Nangong family said, this matter was just a misunderstanding from start to end. At the very start, the mechanism sect's disciples misjudged Brother Long and were disrespectful to him, causing him to kill them in his anger. There's nothing to say about that. It was Zhao Wuji who was petty and adding on the mechanism sect's unreasonable nature, which I'm sure everyone knows about. This matter can't be completely blamed on Long Chen. As for the stone race, their enmity with Long Chen just stemmed from some friendship between certain sides and isn't so deep. Part of the heavenly deus is a natural competition, and it's difficult to avoid all conflicts. The stone race sent people to assist the mechanism sect's sneak attack on the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race and Long Chen counterattacked. There's really no way to say who was right or wrong in this matter. Bullshit. Long Chen took one of my eyes and has yet to return it. That is an insult to the stone race. He started it. Raged Shai Ling Feng. The middle-aged man from the Nangong family frowned irritably. He was the younger brother of the current family head of the Nangong family, and his status was actually no different than the family head. For Shai Ling Feng to shout at him like this was irritating. Ling Feng, don't be rude to your seniors. Hurry and apologize, shouted the golden leader of the stone race. Although the stone race was tyrannical, that middle-aged man was from the everlasting families. They couldn't randomly offend him. Furthermore, the experts that had rushed over here were from the human race. The stone race already had quite some enmity between them and the human race. If they offended all the people here, that definitely wouldn't be a good thing for the stone race. The stone race had originally thought that the great era meant that it was finally their time to shine, but Long Chen's arrival had caused that confidence of theirs to shatter. Just that small force he had brought had made them powerless to resist. If Nangong Zuiyu hadn't interfered at the last moment, Shai Lingfen would have been killed. The only way the race leader could have saved Shai Lingfen was if he used that final trump card, but now wasn't the time to do that. If they did the stone race would lose their chance to truly rise to prominence. So even though so many powerful experts had come to the stone race, the race leader was still enduring. My apologies. Shai Lingfeng made his apology very unwillingly. It's fine. We're just talking. So let's not bring emotions into it. We came here not to watch, but to resolve any conflicts that exist. If your stone race thinks that my words are biased toward any side, then I won't bother wasting the effort, said the middle-aged man. Senior, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful to you, but, Long Chen went too far. How can I simply endure the enmity of having my eye stolen, demanded Shai Lingfeng. Now you think of that enmity? When you provoked and insulted me during the auction, weren't you feeling happy about it? Then you suddenly sneak attacked me during my battle against Zhao Wuji. Weren't you happy then too? What? After I took your eye you no longer felt happy. 
there's no way for me to talk sense with an idiot like you. We can pick up fighting right now if you want, sneered Long Chen. This stone idiot only remembered that Long Chen took his eye but completely forgot about all the things he had done to provoke that action. During the auction, he had insulted Nangong Zuayu, but she possessed great self-restraint and ignored him, causing him to then directly provoke Long Chen. Those matters had long since been forgotten by him, so all he remembered was that Long Chen had taken his eye and deserved death. At this time, the old woman from the Bidang family finally spoke. To build up favors and grudges is to cultivate. The cycle of karma is never ending. As for your personal enmities, none of us want to interfere with them because we don't wish to waste the effort on something impossible. Rather than asking you to resolve your enmities, I would ask if it's possible for you to push back settling those enmities until after the dark era. Every expert's power will be necessary to face the dark era. Is this proposal of mine acceptable? Naturally, you can refuse, and we won't force it. We'll just watch as you fight to the death. Family head Bidang is correct. Our Nangong family believes the same thing. I trust that the Dongfang family is the same. The middle-aged man turned to the Dongfang family's head. The Dongfang family's head smiled lightly. Of course, we hope that the Martial Heaven continent can be peaceful, even if it's just temporary. When it comes to conflict, why isn't it possible to endure it a bit? We're all life forms of the Martial Heaven continent and should care for the continent's survival. Although his words were rather neutral, Long Chen heard a different tone within them. One that seemed to be saying Long Chen was intentionally causing trouble. Long Chen looked at him curiously. Hadn't this old man acted like a good person last time? Why was he targeting him now? Long Chen looked from the Dongfang family to the Nangong family and the Bidang family and seemed to have grasped something. Chapter 2126 The Stone Races Trump Cards Since even the seniors from the Nangong family and the Bidang family have spoken, then I naturally have to give you this face. I can temporarily put aside the grudge of the Stone Race sneak attacking the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. However, this matter will not just end here. I will not allow my people to suffer a loss, said Long Chen lightly. Hearing that, Nangong Zuayu smiled and sighed with relief. Seeing that reaction, Bidang Rushuang narrowed her eyes. Could it be that Nangong Zuayu really did have that kind of intention toward Long Chen? Junior brother Long Chen is truly a wise person. The middle-aged man from the Nangong family smiled. Since everyone has given their advice, my stone race won't be rude. This matter can be set aside. We'll settle it later, said the leader of the stone race. Everyone nodded inside. This result was within their expectations. The stone race's relationship with the human race wasn't very good. Quite a lot of conflicts had happened between both sides throughout history, and although the major powers hadn't had direct confrontations with them, the stone race's conduct had irritated them. Long Chen, hand over my eye, shouted Shai Lingfang. It'd be best if you left those kinds of words for bedtime. Long Chen shook his head. What is that supposed to mean? Demanded Shai Lingfang. It means that at night, I'll treat it as sleep talking, said Long Chen indifferently. You, Shai Lingfang was enraged. But if Long Chen refused to hand it over, he had no way to force him either. Everyone, you can do as you please. My stone race won't be accompanying you. The stone race's leader returned to the stone forest. Not wanting to spend any more time with these human experts, Shai Lingfen glared at Long Chen before also being persuaded to leave by his fellow stone race experts. After the stone race's experts left, the Dongfang family's head said a few words of farewell to everyone before also leaving. In Long Chen's view, these three everlasting families only had a surface level of courtesy for each other. It seemed that their relationship was not very good. Young friend Long Chen. How about coming to my Bidang family as a guest for a few days? Rushuang can play with you. Youngsters like you can exchange pointers and grow together. The old woman from the Bidang family smiled amicably at Long Chen. The other experts stared. What was this? Had the Bidang family decided that Long Chen was to their taste and wanted a new son-in-law? Grandma Bidang Rushuang didn't expect her grandmother to say such a thing. She wasn't prepared at all. There's actually such a good thing. Long Chen smiled brightly. If you dare to come, I'll kill you. 
threatened Bidang Rushuang upon seeing Long Chen return to his scoundrel form. Sigh. It's still the same words. I simply cannot give my heart to you, sighed Long Chen. Who wants it? Bastard. If you keep talking, I'll throttle you. Bidang Rushuang really looked like she might bite Long Chen like this. I just finished preparing the Peak Dao Transformation Dragon Saliva, but since you're so generous, I can only thank you. I'll repay your kindness one day. Long Chen cupped his fists. Long Chen, you're too shameless. Bidang Rushuang hadn't expected Long Chen to actually have a con hidden within his words. Back then, she and Nangong Zuayu had each loaned Long Chen 50 drops of Peak Dao Transformation Dragon Saliva, which was why Long Chen had been able to buy the Moon and Star Refining Furnace. Those 50 drops weren't much to them, but having this debt conned out, and adding Long Chen's exaggerated grateful expression, Bidang Rushuang really wanted to give him a beating. How had such a shameless person been born in this world? As for the others, they were mystified by what was going on. Only Nangong Zuayu covered her mouth, holding back a laugh. Haha, <laughs> it's nice to be young. Long Chen, you can come to my Bidang family whenever you want. For now, I have things to handle at home. The old woman from the Bidang family smiled and left. Senior, take care, said Long Chen hastily. Bidang Rushuang held the arm of the old woman as they left. She didn't forget to glare at Long Chen before leaving, raising a fist at him. From start to end, the Bidang family's people hadn't said anything to the Nangong family's people. It seemed that the enmity between the two families wasn't so easy to resolve. The others also began to leave. Only then did Nangong Zuayu send a message to Long Chen. Be careful. Slumbering beneath the stone races land is Shai Changsheng's heroic spirit. The family head even suspects that Shai Changsheng hasn't fully died. If you had killed Shai Lingfeng, you might have forced the stone race to awaken Shai Changsheng. Only then did Long Chen understand why Nangong Zuayu had stopped him. That had almost caused a misunderstanding between the two of them. Many thanks for your warning. I'll remember this favor. There's no need for thanks. Just don't con me out of my Peak Dao Transformation Dragon Saliva. I can't compare to Fairy Rushuang and am very poor. Nangong Zuayu actually teased Long Chen. Cough. I definitely won't. But my pocket's been rather tight lately. So please be generous and extend the deadline. Long Chen awkwardly coughed. He wasn't really conning Bidang Rushuang. It was just a joke. Junior brother Long Chen. With so many supreme geniuses rising, it really isn't a good idea to make too many enemies. During the Qi Flow eruption, if others reject you, you won't be able to absorb any of the Qi Flow. So take care, said the middle-aged man from the Nangong family. Many thanks for the warning. This junior will remember it. Long Chen cupped his fists. The middle-aged man nodded. To the old man, he cupped his fists and said, Goodbye. Nangong Zuayu also said her goodbyes to Long Chen before leaving. Boss, I really admire you. Just how did you do it? Guo Ran looked at Long Chen worshipfully. Do what asked Long Chen. How did you manage to seduce both the Bidang and Nangong family's heavenly fairies? Scram, don't you see that I haven't managed to seduce them? I mean, I never tried to seduce them. Little brat, I'm warning you. Don't even try whispering this matter in Wan Er's ears. Warned Long Chen. Guo Ran sometimes didn't think through what he was saying. Implicating Long Chen. Ha ha ha. Gu Yang and the others laughed. There had been many times when they were drinking that Guo Ran drank too much and got a loose tongue. He had implicated Long Chen several times. Long Chen looked over the stone forest. Shai Changsheng's heroic spirit? Furthermore, it wasn't even confirmed if Shai Changsheng was alive or dead? That was a bit troublesome. Let's go. Xia Chen took out a flying boat, and they all got on. With all his materials spent, they could only use a flying boat to travel. On the flying boat, the old man called over Long Chen for a private conversation, asking him what Nangong Zuayu had said. Long Chen repeated her exact words. The old man nodded. There truly is something terrifying beneath the stone race. I sensed it when you were beating Shai Lingfeng. There were fluctuations of something sealed but the stone race isn't capable of such a formation. They must have had the mechanism sect's help. If what is sealed is Shai Changsheng's heroic spirit, then this matter is a disaster. Is that Shai Changsheng really so powerful? 
asked Long Chen. Although his title of emperor was self-given, and he can't truly be ranked amongst the three emperors, he has that level of power. He is an existence that surpasses your imagination. It's just unclear how much spirituality his heroic spirit has retained. Perhaps they are waiting for Shai Lingfeng to absorb the world's qi flow before having the heroic spirit possess him, having it undergo a form of reincarnation, said the old man heavily. He can actually reincarnate, asked Long Chen, feeling shocked. This reincarnation isn't the reincarnation you're thinking of. It can be considered a form of extended inheritance. It will bestow all the divine abilities of Shai Changsheng to Shai Lingfeng. Don't underestimate that inheritance. Someone who could be called emperor has to have heaven-shaking divine abilities. Once mastered, the user might topple heaven and earth, warned the old man. HMPH, then I'm not afraid of him. Even if he masters the stone emperor's abilities, the dragon blood legion and I will cut him down, said Long Chen confidently. As long as he refined enough hundred flower resonation pills, the dragon blood legion would become fully awakened emperians, with divine items powerful armor, and a grand formation linking them together. Who could compete with them? Then good. That flame lotus of yours was very powerful. But remember, the nine forms of split the heavens are even stronger than you imagine. If you have time, you should focus on it, and it won't disappoint you. The nine forms of split the heavens emulate the saying, no one thing, no ten thousand things. In truth, your current mastery of the eighth form of split the heavens is inferior to Bao Buping and Chang Hao. It's just that your will is much stronger than theirs, making it stronger. However, you don't cultivate the battle god sacred canon. Your cultivation technique is different, so I can't teach you some things. You'll have to figure them out yourself yourself, said the old man. Long Chen cultivated the nine star hegemon body art. And although when he used split the heavens he used the same acupuncture points, the foundation was different. The heaven splitting battle sects battle god sacred canon was a set with the nine forms of split the heavens. So the old man didn't know how to teach Long Chen certain things. They quickly arrived at a city. Stepping off the flying boat, they obediently stepped onto a transportation formation. Not long after. Huge wave soared in the martial heaven continent as explosive news spread. Chapter 2127 Huge gains the malignant tumor of the cultivation world that couldn't be removed for countless years known as the mechanism sect had actually been destroyed by Long Chen. This news quickly spread, and people didn't dare to believe it. But as time passed, information came of disciples of the mechanism sect running in every direction, confirming this news. A sect with countless years of history, a sect that had survived countless powerful enemies, a sect with unquestionable power and foundation, a nightmare of other sects, had been destroyed. Countless experts ran over to the rumored entrance to the mechanism sect's minor world. Seeing a giant hole in the mountain range where that location had been, they finally believed it. There was still a remnant aura of destruction hanging in the air, the result of the laws of the world being broken. It was a mark left behind by the collapse of a minor world. Long Chen is truly heaven-defying. He even managed to destroy an ancient sect like the Mechanism Sect. I heard that he didn't do it alone. The entire Dragonblood Legion came out, and even the sect leader of the heaven-splitting battle sect joined in personally as an expert of the current era. Long Chen can still look down on the sects of the ancient era. With one blow, he directly destroys one of them. Truly domineering apparently, after destroying the mechanism sect, he even went to the stone race, and if it weren't for the mediation of the everlasting families, the stone race would have also been destroyed. Noveloon.com he, all those sects and people from the ancient era look down on us, good thing we're not inferior, we have Long Chen, who cares about those monsters of the ancient era, he can still destroy them with a wave of his hand. Countless people were discussing the destruction of the mechanism sect and how Long Chen had then charged over to the stone race. After all, the mechanism sect had a very well-known reputation in the cultivation world. Except for the everlasting families and a few other terrifying powers, the mechanism sect would be vicious to anyone, threatening to destroy a sect with just a word, and then following through if they wanted to. They always destroyed those sects to the last. 
The power and domineering nature that Long Chen had shown by destroying the mechanism sect and attacking the stone race shook even some of the sects of the ancient era. They had always thought that when compared to them, Long Chen was someone who lacked any foundation and couldn't truly compete with them. In the end, geniuses required more than talent. Without the powerful support of a sect, without a huge amount of resources poured into them, even a genius could become useless. However, Long Chen's thunderous strike had startled those sects, making them realize that they had underestimated him. Other than Long Chen, there was another person who shook the continent, and that was the heaven-splitting battle sect's old man. As more of the mechanism sect's disciples fled, more information was dug up regarding how the old man had slain the patriarch of the mechanism sect even a fourth-step nether passage expert had been slain by one powerful blow from the old man. However, the mechanism sect's patriarch had been bedeviled, causing his power to drop, which made people question the old man's true power. But then he had displayed an equivalent power to the stone race's leader, showing he had the power of a fourth-step nether passage expert. In fact, he had even been a bit stronger and had fought evenly against the stone race's leader immediately after killing the mechanism sect's patriarch. Furthermore, when they learned that he had only recently broken through to the nether passage realm but was rapidly climbing through it, his speed stunned people. Just from the old man's power, the heaven-splitting battle sect went from an ordinary sect to the equivalent of a supreme power, an existence that could compare with the sects of the ancient era. No one could look down on them any longer. Through this battle, one old man and one young man had their names shake the five regions becoming the topics of discussion of countless experts. However, at the same time as Long Chen's name shook the continent, a merciless slaughter was happening. Long Chen had disdained killing some of the weaker members of the mechanism sect, but just because he wasn't willing to do it didn't mean that others weren't. The mechanism sect had made enemies of the rest of the world. Many ancient powers had enmity with them. The mechanism sect had been vile, killing people as they pleased and no one knew just how many sects female disciples had been touched by their toxic hands. However, the majority of those sects had chosen to endure it, not daring to say anything. As a result, when the mechanism sect was destroyed, their chance for vengeance came. A large number of sects on the continent participated in the hunt for the mechanism sect's leftovers. Those people from the mechanism sect that Long Chen had let go were unable to hide from the continent's haunt. Some vicious people didn't even let off the families of the disciples. A slaughter occurred on the continent. Although Long Chen had also expected such a thing, he hadn't thought that the mechanism sect had made so many enemies for themselves. The accumulated hatred that had been suppressed for so many years was truly terrifying when it burst forth. However, Long Chen also didn't go out to stop them or kill the people from the mechanism sect he had already been merciful. The evils that people did would always return to make them pay. Although there had been some unexpected things in the stone race, they had essentially pulled off their goal this time. They had shown their might and made plenty of profit. Even the reserved Xia Chen was singing off-key and dancing wildly with Guo Ran, as if they couldn't express their own joy without messing around for a bit. The old man returned to the heaven-splitting battle sect before he left. Long Chen told him to pick out a group of experts as he was preparing to refine another batch of hundred flower resonation pills. Long Chen wanted to make the Dragonblood Legion and the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect into places of monstrous geniuses to face future battles. Whether it was against the continent's heavenly geniuses or against the upcoming Dark Era, it didn't matter. He had to accumulate some trump cards. Upon returning to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, Long Chen had Xia Chen take inventory of their profits. Xia Chen directly pulled out a mountain of spirit crystals, spirit stones, and various materials. The giant plaza was stacked full of those, leaving people with nowhere to stand. Even though Long Chen had been prepared mentally about how rich the mechanism sect was, he didn't expect them to have accumulated so much profit. We're rich. We're rich. Guo Ran cried out diving into the mountain of spirit crystals, looking like he wanted to drown within them. Boss, these are just the spirit crystals, spirit stones, and materials for forging and formations. There are also many completed and semi-completed products. 
including armor and weapons. There are also the weapons and armor of the dead we collected from the battlefield, and their spatial rings. Just looking through them will take a long time. Boss, we really did get rich, said Shia Chen emotionally. The feeling of going from poor to rich made it so that even Shia Chen couldn't control his emotions. He had never dreamed of being able to use so many precious materials. He also wanted to go for a swim amongst them like Guo Ran. Speaking of spatial rings, I forgot this. Long Chen tossed out the mechanism sect's patriarch's spatial ring and two sets of armor. Xia Chen looked inside the spatial ring and cried out, Guo Ran, get over here. There's a complete explanation of the mechanism sect's arts here. Where? Where? Guo Ran shot over. Seeing a mass of beast hides in Xia Chen's arms, Guo Ran's eyes almost popped out. Those were precisely what he wanted the most. Wait a second. Let me see that piece. Long Chen suddenly pointed to a particular beast hide in the pile. It was unknown where this beast hide came from, but it was extremely tough. The complicated marks written on it were dizzying. However, Long Chen wasn't attracted to those confusing marks. Instead, he was drawn to a symbol in the bottom right corner. This mark. Long Chen's heart pounded. He remembered this mark. He had seen it on a flying boat once, when he had accompanied the old man to the netherworld. He had encountered a curious woman who said she was Zikai Ankian of the Aldeville Starfield. He had then ended up entering purgatory with her, barely managing to escape. He had never forgotten that amazing flying boat of hers that was able to fly over the Nine Springs and was even immune to the Death Spirit water. He still remembered there had been a mark on the flying boat. He had asked Zikai Ankian about it and she had told him that it was the symbol of the sect that had made the flying boat. After it was sold off, people could bring it back to them for repairs in the future. Now, he saw the same mark on the bottom right corner of this beast hide. Is this to say that the mechanism sect was linked to the Aldeville Starfield? Long Chen was stunned. Regretfully, the Patriarch and Zhao Wuji were dead, and the higher-ups had been killed. The remaining people were too low-level to know a secret like this. All right, there's no need to be perfect with the stock inventory. Just get a general estimate so that you don't waste time, said Long Chen. Guo Ran, Xia Chen, work hard. Now you have plenty of materials and resources. The rest will be up to you. Boss, don't worry, we won't disappoint you, swore Xia Chen and Guo Ran. With these materials, they had even better options for the Dragon Blood Warrior's equipment. They immediately got to work. Healing sisters, I'll be needing your help to refine pills now. It'll be hard on you, but this time, I'm preparing to make everyone here an awakened Empyrean. All the Dragon Blood warriors erupted in cheers. The Dragon Blood Legion was going to topple this world. Chapter 2128 The High Priest's Letter The outside world was still turbulent due to the news that the mechanism sect had been destroyed by Long Chen. As for the survivors, they were being hunted down becoming a popular discussion point. Some people thought that this was too cruel. Killing their experts was one thing, but they weren't even letting off the women and children. There were also others who thought that the mechanism sect was evil to the core, and everyone related to them should be killed. Certain experts with deep enmity for the mechanism sect didn't even care about the questions of the rest of the world and swore to kill everyone from the mechanism sect no matter what. It was at this point that Long Chen finally said something. Evil did not pass through blood. Only evil convictions were passed down. Evil was evil, and there was no need to give evil a high-sounding cover. With just this, the sects crazily hunting down the mechanism sects' families came to a stop. After a short while, they retreated. With just this, the mechanism sects' women and children escaped a calamity. Long Chen's meaning was clear. Just because the parents were bad didn't mean that the children would be bad too. That was simply the result of the environment. Blood was not what passed down evil. It was the evil beliefs that were passed down generation after generation. The mechanism sect was just a sect they didn't believe in God. So there was no evil bloodline to speak of. As for saying that evil was evil, and that there was no need to give evil a high-sounding cover, that was about the killers only doing it to vent their anger. They were killing powerless and innocent people to vent. That was actually just a coward's conduct. If you really were a man, then you wouldn't have been a turtle hiding in its shell. 
you would have gotten revenge on the mechanism sect from the start. That time had now passed, and what they were doing now was not vengeance, but venting. So there was no need to cover up their actions with their excuses. A coward was just a coward. As a result, those sects finally stopped. None of them were strong enough to refuse to acknowledge Long Chen's power, even if they didn't acknowledge his words. If they really were strong enough, they wouldn't have been too afraid to get vengeance on the Mechanism Sect considering that Long Chen was strong enough to destroy the Mechanism Sect. None of those sects dared to offend him. The slaughter throughout the continent came to a stop, and the innocent women and children finally managed to survive and grow on the continent. When years passed and people asked those descendants whether or not they hated Long Chen, they shook their heads, saying that they were only grateful to Long Chen for letting them survive. The reason that Long Chen had made his declaration was because he didn't want to see innocent people get killed, but another reason was because he disliked seeing cowards acting tough and dignified. After saying what he said, Long Chen stopped caring about what was happening outside. He also didn't care if the Mechanism Sect's people were grateful to him or if they hated him. Since he dared to let them live, it meant he wasn't afraid of their vengeance. With the healing warriors, Long Chen went into seclusion to refine pills. As wood cultivators, the healing warriors possessed powerful spiritual strength. Although they couldn't compare to Men Qi and Chu Yao, that was alright. He just needed their spiritual strength as a foundation. After refining over a thousand hundred flower da resonation pills, he was already more than familiar with the process, and the moon and star refining furnace had also memorized this pill refinement, making all future refinements of it much easier and faster. Long Chen's seclusion lasted half a month, and he refined over fourteen thousand hundred flower da resonation pills. Even with the support of fifty healing warriors, Long Chen felt dizzy, like he would vomit. Although the majority of spiritual strength had come from others for his refinements, he still couldn't bear it. As for the healing warriors, even though they had taken turns helping Long Chen, they also couldn't continue any longer. Some were about to faint. Coming out of seclusion, he distributed the pills, keeping a few and also sending some to the old man. After coming out of seclusion, he saw an unexpected figure had come to look for him. Fatty, how are you here? It was actually Tu Kai and Shang. The current fatty Tu had already broken through to the nether passage realm. His body had also gotten fatter. What? Now you're too famous to meet me. Tu Kai and Shang sat in a seat. The chair groaned. And for the first time, Long Chen felt some sympathy for a chair. What fame? I wasn't able to destroy the stone race. And I wasn't even able to get the corpses of the dead. Said Long Chen helplessly. As he spoke. He took out a scarlet blood spirit fish and began cooking it. Seeing that, Tu Kai and Chang took out a wine jug. Long Chen, you were pretty badass this time. Even with Shai Chang Sheng's heroic spirit in the stone race's ancestral land, you dared to charge right to their door. When it comes to bravery, I really have to admire you, said Tu Kai and Shang. Are you trying to insult me? If I knew that Shai Chang Sheng's heroic spirit was alive, would I have dared to go? said Long Chen, but he still toasted with Tu Kai and Shang, gulping down his wine, he immediately started coughing, damn it, this wine is too intense, it's no different from lava, but, it's addictive, Long Chen felt like he was about to exhale smoke, and it was like a current of lava was flowing into his stomach, that heat rapidly spread throughout this body, igniting his spiritual yuan, Long Chen was both startled and delighted, Tu Kai and Chang's realm had once more improved. Even his wine Dao had changed. This wine was actually able to stimulate a person's will and solidify their Dao heart. Haha, <laughs> if I didn't bring out something decent, would I dare to come drink with you? Laughed Tu Kai and Chang Novaloon.com Ah, such fine wine. I really must insist on keeping a few thousand jars of it to let my brothers taste it. Praised Long Chen. A few thousand jars? Are you planning on bathing in it? I can't make that much. And also, just how much of my wine have you conned from me since we met? What have you given me? Demanded Tu Kai and Chang scornfully. Didn't I give you a piece of good fortune back then? Laughed Long Chen. What good fortune? You were conning me into helping you fight some people from the ancient races. 
After conning me into fighting, you actually say that I'm the one who owes you a debt? When it comes to shamelessness, no one can compare to you. Tu Kian Chang's lips curled. In the Grand Xia ancient nation, Long Chen had been threatened by the ancient races, and when he had left the city, he had brought along Tu Kian Chang to fight them. What are you talking about? If you hadn't had that chance to vent your emotions, would your heart have become clear enough for you to suddenly break through your bottleneck? Isn't that good fortune? said Long Chen. Tu Kian Chang didn't know how to reply to that. In that way, it truly was good fortune because he wouldn't have made his breakthrough without it. But he refused to admit it. Long Chen had conned him, and his breakthrough had come from his own hard work. It was what he wanted to say, but he couldn't say it. TCH, I can't talk with you. I have plenty of wine, but if you want to take it, it'll be up to your own abilities. I came prepared today, so I refuse to believe I can't beat you. An hour later, Tu Kian Chang furiously slammed the table, breaking it. Haha, <laughs> you have no talent in this regard. Long Chen laughed. Even after an hour, Tu Kian Chang hadn't beaten him in any drinking game, driving him crazy. Fuck this. I'm not playing any longer. Here, take this. Tu Kian Chang tossed Long Chen a spatial ring filled with hundreds of jugs of wine. Seeing Tu Kian Chang was about to leave, Long Chen hastily said, Wait, it's normal to win some and lose some. Why get angry? I refuse to believe I can't beat you. Just wait. After I train for another half year, I'll come back for revenge. Tu Kian Chang patted his butt at him in goodbye. Hey. Did you only come here to bet wine with me? Asked Long Chen. Tu Kian Chang clapped his forehead. Ah, I forgot. This is the letter the high priest asked me to hand to you. All right, I'm leaving. This was depressing. Tu Kian Chang directly left, not even giving Long Chen a chance to send him off. Long Chen smiled and felt like maybe he had gone a bit too far. Tu Kian Chang had come to give him a letter and treat him to wine but he had made him angry by beating him too much. Tu Kian Chang was just garbage at the finger-guessing drinking game. It was hard for Long Chen to even let him win, and if he really did something like that, Tu Kian Chang would definitely be enraged. Tu Kian Chang cared about face, and if Long Chen let him win, that would be an insult. So Long Chen also felt helpless about it. Looking at the broken table, Long Chen laughed. Tu Kian Chang never concealed his emotions. Long Chen opened the high priest's letter. There was nothing written. It was just a map. It was a map of the Martial Heaven continent. Startled, he looked at a spot that was marked. Seeing that mark, Long Chen's heart shook. Someone had written flow onto that spot. Could it be? This is the location of the Qi Flow Eruption? Chapter 2129 Pill Valley's Sinister Scheme Seeing that flow character. Long Chen truly jumped. Just how had the high priest figured out the location of the Qi Flow eruption? Wasn't it said that the Qi Flow eruption's time and place were up to the heavens? That no one could know before it happened? That was why the entire continent was silent, with no one daring to make a move despite knowing that the Qi Flow eruption was imminent. Long Chen continued staring at the map, and then his expression changed. Why would it be there? The flow character was precisely where the entrance to the yin-yang world was. How is this possible? If the qi flow eruption occurs there, if all that energy gathered and burst forth there, wouldn't the seal also be broken? If that happened, the yin-yang world's blood race would be able to charge into the continent Long Chen was grave. Although the sovereigns were supreme existences, their seals had been worn down by the passing of countless years. It was difficult to say whether the seal would be able to endure such a blow. Long Chen carefully looked at the flow character. Suddenly, the flow character floated off the map, transforming into an image. Strands of blood chi gathered from the image into a neat chain that tore through the earth before vanishing. Following that, the earth shook, and the sun and moon went under the shadow. The entire world transformed into primal chaos. The image vanished. The map in Long Chen's hand ignited into a burst of flames, turning into nothingness as if it had never existed. The gathering of blood chi like the gathering of chi flow. Could it be? Long Chen's eyes flickered. He suddenly thought of the strange energy that had tried to extract a trace of his blood when he had left the Brahma secret realm. When Long Chen had sensed it, he had rejected it. At that time, 
He had been curious about it but didn't know what it was. This message from the high priest made him think of that energy that had tried to extract a trace of blood from every person leaving. There had been a million geniuses to enter the Brahma secret realm. They represented practically the entire continent's chi flow. Extracting a trace of blood from every one of those people. Long Chen thought of a possibility. Had Pill Valley used the Brahma secret realm to extract their blood in order to make the chi flow eruption occur ahead of time? And even at a certain location? What was their goal in controlling the time and location? Long Chen shivered. Pill Valley seemed to be up to something exceedingly dangerous. With a thought, Long Chen looked into the spatial ring that Tu Kai and Chang had given him. Within the mass of wine jugs, he saw three smaller jugs that were only the size of a fist. Long Chen took out those jugs and saw that they were also filled with wine. He drank a gulp. The three moon jasper flower wine. The jasper flower bloomed in the third month. And after being gathered, it needed to be dried for three months before being used in winemaking. It then required to be brewed for three months to be fully merged into the wine. Due to that, it was called the three moon jasper flower wine. Amongst wines, very few had such a name. Is this an indication that the chi flow eruption will occur three months from now? Long Chen guessed what the high priest was trying to subtly indicate to him. The chi flow eruption was related to the future of the world. Even the high priest could only give him the vaguest of warnings to avoid karma. Just what is Pill Valley doing? Long Chen sighed. Perhaps the high priest had sensed something, but this matter was too important for him to say directly. He could only hope Long Chen could see through his clues. Long Chen needed to quickly raise his power. He then took a deep breath. He had to be properly prepared before the chi flow eruption. Boss, you called me. Gu Yang asked. Yes. Tell everyone to stop cultivating and focus on stabilizing their current realm. Since the chi flow eruption is about to come, we should prepare to advance then, said Long Chen. In the Dongfang family, Nangong Zuiyu had stealthily told Long Chen that it was best to stop raising his cultivation base at this time. By advancing during the chi flow eruption, it would make his realm much more stable and strengthen him further. Since Long Chen hadn't known when the chi flow eruption would occur, he hadn't allowed the dragon blood warriors to stop advancing. But now that he knew the date, he could let everyone take a pause there and focus on stabilizing their current realm. At this time, Long Chen realized why all the supreme geniuses he had encountered during the gathering were at the first heaven stage of life star. They were all waiting for the chi flow eruption. All the dragon blood warriors had now consumed their hundred flower da resonation pills. They were in the midst of awakening their manifestations. So he didn't disturb them. He simply told Gu Yang not to let his guard down and beware of a sneak attack. Although they had just destroyed the mechanism sect and that should intimidate their enemies, it was best to be careful with the complicated and twisted relationships between the ancient sects. Long Chen sat on a transportation formation and went to the Huaian sect's headquarters. Brother Long, congratulations on being the brightest star in the sky, congratulated Zheng Wenlong when Long Chen walked in. Who's the brightest star? And why bother congratulating them? said Long Chen with a smile. Zheng Wenlong was startled and then shook his head. Brother Long is still the same as ever. Long Chen laughed. I won't waste your time. Is there any progress on the things I asked you to gather? The things you wanted are too rare. I've investigated all the millions of storehouses of the Huaian sect and only found seven of them. As for the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit that you wanted top priority on, there's no information on it. I'm truly sorry said Zheng Wenlong. Long Chen had given Zheng Wenlong a list of medicinal ingredients that he wanted, with the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit being the most important. However, the Huaian sect was unable to find it. In fact, they didn't even have a record of it. Seven is not bad. Don't mind it. Long Chen was disappointed, but he didn't let it show. He knew Zheng Wenlong was very meticulous, especially when it came to business. If he couldn't find it, then there was nothing that could be done. Looking at the seven ingredients that Zheng Wenlong had found, he was surprised. Three of them were the main ingredients in other pills. He now had three new 11th tier pills he could refine. Brother Zhang, is there something weighing on your heart? Asked Long Chen upon examining Zheng Wenlong closely. 
The Huai insect has encountered a competitor, Sai Jung Wenlong. You refer to the Dongfang family? asked Long Chen. Yes, they've already established five auction houses throughout the Central Plains, one in each region. All their wares are top treasures of shocking value, and they even use underworld spirit beads as the currency. Many of our high end clients have been drawn over to them. It's a grievous blow to us, although we also have some precious treasures to take out. If we don't take in any new stock, we won't be able to keep it up. Furthermore, Pill Valley has started selling a limited number of top grade 11th tier pills. They're selling them in contractual groups. Contractual groups? What is that supposed to mean? If you want to buy an 11th tier pill, you have to buy a certain number of their other pills, said Jung Wenlong. Isn't that basically bullying? Before buying the honey, you have to buy some crap first. Long Chen's jaw dropped. Pill Valley was even more shameless than he had thought. Just how had they managed that? Although that truly is the case, they have the power to do it. They also have an option where you don't need to buy the pills immediately, but you must sign a long-term contract with Pill Valley to only buy pills from them. Those sects are bound to Pill Valley in the future. Many of the sects doing business with us are starting to waver. Although Pill Valley's actions are overbearing, the attraction of 11th tier pills is too great. It is said that after the Brahma secret realm, Pill Valley obtained many secret formulas for 11th tier pills, and they even say they will have an unending supply of them in the future. That's why the Huai insect is in trouble right now. They have the 11th tier pills. It won't be long before all our clients will be taken by Pill Valley. Jung Wenlong sighed helplessly. You want 11th tier pill formulas? I have some, said Long Chen. Jung Wenlong fell from his chair, staring in shock at Long Chen. He stuttered. Brother Long, you, are you sure? You're not joking. Why would I lie? You forget. I also entered the Brahma secret realm. I also have some of Pill Valley's 11th tier pills. It might not be all of them, but it should be enough for you. Here, I'll write them down. Long Chen took out some writing utensils and quickly filled up several pages of pill formulas. He wrote down hundreds of them. Heavens, so many. Long Chen, I, I really don't know how to thank you. Jung Wenlong didn't understand these pill formulas, but he knew that Long Chen had just given him something that would drive other alchemists crazy. He didn't know what to say. You're too courteous. Helping you is helping me. If Pill Valley gets stronger. It won't be good for me, said Long Chen with a smile. Long Chen, sit for a while. I have to alert the sect master. Jung Wenlong vanished. Chapter 2130 A go between reporting to the sect master. I have an urgent matter to discuss. Within a palace, Jung Wenlong was still bowing deeply toward a certain person. That person wasn't very tall, and he was a bit slim, and rather ordinary looking. That person was the sect master, Maruayan. Maru Ayan was seated lotus style. He smiled at the excited Jung Wenlong. A chance to turn things for the better yes. Just now Maru Ayan waved his hand, interrupting Jung Wenlong. I already said that everything is up to you. There's no need to report anything to me. Wenlong, as a businessman, you must have foresight and a sharp sense for opportunities and risks. In this regard, you still have many faults. When the signs of the chi flow eruption occurred, you were entirely capable of predicting the current predicament. At that time, you didn't take any measures to prepare, instead waiting and seeing. Sometimes opportunities ended up slipping right out of your hand because you decided to wait and see. Disciple is truly lacking, said Jung Wenlong. Maru Ayan had left the entire Huaian sect to him, while even the assistant sect masters like Hua Mingxian were starting to pass on their responsibilities and special authorities to him. As a result, Jung Wenlong felt like a mountain was pressing down on his shoulders. He didn't dare to make any mistakes. In truth, there's nothing for us to teach you about the business Dao. You just aren't confident enough. Due to your lack of confidence, you've let certain opportunities escape. When the Dongfang family announced the gathering, you already saw the problem, but you didn't dare to make a move. That was because you had no assurance that you would succeed. You were afraid of failure, but you forgot that when it comes to business, safety and profit do not go together. Without risks, there are no rewards. If you fail, 
you gain experience. If you succeed, you gain confidence. But you just watched, letting one opportunity after another slip through your hands. Yes, disciple lacks confidence. The pressure is immense. Jung Wenlong was starting to sweat. The sect master sounded very disappointed in him. Being too cautious and not having enough daring won't allow you to achieve greatness. I handed the Huaian sect to you not so that the sect could stay in its current position. I want you to make the Huaian sect bloom on an unprecedented scale. I want you to achieve more than any past sect master. Mingxing and the others, as well as myself, are old, and our thinking is rigid. Such a thing is difficult to change. That's why we've left all the decisions in your hands. Although you're young, although you lack experience, although you aren't steady enough, have you not thought about your own advantages over us? If you act as we would, will your accomplishments be able to surpass ours? It is because we have seen our own shortcomings that we've left the Huaian sect to you. Sometimes a shortcoming can be the best thing for someone. You can walk a path that is completely different from ours. Failure isn't frightening. What is frightening is being so afraid of failure that you can't take the necessary steps forward. Youngsters should dare to charge forward. You haven't met the standards of a businessman, but you have met the standards of a friend, or you wouldn't have Long Chen supporting you. Child, the business Tao is not so simple as buying and selling. It goes much deeper than that. In the same way, the wealth god is not an unscrupulous businessman only caring about profit. Take it slow, and one day you will understand the essence of the wealth god. Maruian stood up and patted Jung Wenlong's shoulders. Jung Wenlong took a deep breath and promised, Many thanks for your pointers. Disciple knows what he must do. The current Jung Wenlong looked like he had been freed of a great weight. Maruian smiled. Go then. Jung Wenlong had just left when Hua Mingxing appeared in the room. Looking at Jung Wenlong's back, he said, This era is theirs. Jung Wenlong's fate might already be fully tied with Long Chen's. Maruian smiled slightly. From the day they first met, that was already fated to be. Jung Wenlong's future depends on Long Chen. You've also bound the Huaian sect's future to Long Chen, said Hua Mingxing. Life is a gamble. We've reached the final stage. So we have to make our choice. It's about time. Mingxing, gather our secret forces. These days of peace won't last much longer. We have to be prepared. If the Dongfang family and Pill Valley think that they can devour our Huaian sect, they are thinking too simply. Businessmen always need to remember to have a trick up their sleeves, said Maruian. Hua Mingxing nodded, his figure fading from the room. Long Chen, you can leave these pill formulas with me. As for their value, there's no way to estimate it. I can only pay you back slowly, said Jung Wenlong. Originally, he had gone to ask Maru Ayan about what kind of price he should pay for these pill formulas. After all, 11th tier pill formulas were priceless treasures, especially at this time for the Hua Ayan sect however. Friends were friends, and money was money. They couldn't be mixed. He would need to see the true value of these pill formulas in action before paying Long Chen back. Maru Ayan had allowed him to do things according to his own style. That's easy to decide. I fully trust the Huaian sect. So let me just ask whether or not you have anyone on your side who can refine 11th tier pills, said Long Chen. There won't be any problem in that regard. I'll tell you the truth. Countless years ago, we began secretly raising our own alchemists. They've been hidden all this time. Let me put it to you this way. In this entire world, the only ones who know about this matter are the sect master and the assistant sect masters. And then you and I, said Jung Wenlong. Long Chen nodded. As expected, the Huaian sect's foundation was far deeper than they showed. The power that they had revealed was just the tip of the iceberg. Refining 11th tier pill shouldn't be a problem. But refining top grade 11th tier pills will need luck. But as soon as we refine some, we'll have the power to contend with Pill Valley. At the very least, we'll show people our power. That way, our clients won't leave us, said Jung Wenlong. As long as those sects didn't get bound to Pill Valley, things would be easy to handle. He already sent these pill formulas out through secret channels, making sure to get as much of a head start on refining these pills as possible. They needed to shake things up or the outside world would think that the Huaian sect couldn't fight back. 
Long Chen nodded. Refining the 11th tier pill shouldn't be too difficult. The reason the pills that Long Chen had refined had been so difficult was because those pills had come from the pill sovereign memories and had much higher requirements. As for these pill formulas that had come from the Brahma Divine Palace, Long Chen didn't care about them. He didn't feel that their effects were good enough, so he didn't waste his time on them. These pills should be refinable by other alchemists. If a hundred, a thousand, or even ten thousand alchemists were to attempt refining these pills, then sooner or later, they would be able to refine a top-grade pill. Furthermore, it was best for them to start with the easier pills. Once they could refine those, they could try their hand at more difficult 11th tier pill formulas. Amongst alchemists, there was also a way to work together and have multiple alchemists refine the same furnace of pills. By combining their spiritual strengths, they could increase the chances of successful refinements. So Jung Wenlong wasn't worried about not being able to refine the pills. Brother Wenlong, have you contacted the Nangong family and the Bidang family? Is there any chance of working with them? Asked Long Chen. I've asked, and they were both very polite. But it seems they don't really care about working with us. Jung Wenlong shook his head. As soon as they had appeared, Jung Wenlong had made contact with most of the ancient sects and powers. And while they gave him face by taking a meeting with him, they all tacitly declined any kind of collaboration. Most likely, they felt that there wasn't anything they wanted from this declined era. You should make another trip to those two families. Ask for Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu. Say that you are my friend, and they'll definitely see you, said Long Chen after thinking about it. Jung Wenlong bitterly smiled. I've heard about your accomplishments in that regard, but even if they grant me a meeting, there's no point if they don't want a collaboration this is different than before. Your timing was off before. If you go now, it might work, said Long Chen. Jung Wenlong had been too early before. The Dongfang family's gathering hadn't taken place yet. So it was natural for them to refuse. But now, the Dongfang family's auction houses had spread throughout the central plains, and they were gathering things that they wanted. At the stone race, Long Chen had seen that the everlasting families did not get along. The Nangong and Bidang families were not on the same side as the Dongfang family. At this time, if Long Chen were to act as a go-between, the chances of success would be much higher. As long as the Nangong and Bidang families were to form a collaboration with the Huaian sect, then everything would become easier to handle. Just by waving the signboard of those two families, it would draw other powers to them. If even the two everlasting families were working together, why would anyone hesitate? When Long Chen explained that, Zheng Wenlong clapped his forehead. No wonder Maru Ian said that he had missed many opportunities. He hadn't even thought of this. Delightedly, Jung Wenlong prepared to set off. Long Chen also left, going to the original Devil Race's territory. He didn't know how wild was, or how much stronger Yu Ziaokian had gotten. Chapter 2131 Phoenix Blood Immortal Gold When Long Chen stealthily approached the entrance to the original Devil Race's world, he found that the formation had been greatly changed. It had become even more concealed. He had to go through dozens of transportation formations, each one with more safeguards and people guarding them. Seeing Long Chen, the original Devil Race's disciples bowed. From their weary expressions, he could see that the original Devil Race had probably been targeted. Yu Ziaokian's mother was waiting for him as soon as he entered the skyscraping world. Greetings, race leader. Long Chen hastily bowed. Yu Ziaokian's mother said. Family doesn't need to be so courteous. If it was anyone else, then he didn't need to be courteous. But this was Yu Ziaokian's mother, his future mother-in-law. So he naturally had to be courteous. Although that was what he thought in his head, he put on a very obedient expression. Race leader. During the gathering of past and present heroes Long Chen sighed. Ashamed that he hadn't managed to protect those disciples of the original devil race. Things had happened too quickly. And before he could even come out with a plan, that disciple had used a secret art to kill himself and his companions. Every time Long Chen thought about it, he felt responsible. That was why Long Chen had felt such hatred for Zhao Wuji and even stripped off his skin in front of everyone. Yu Ziaokian's mother shook her head. 
It was my fault. You told me to pull back all the disciples. But since you said to go slow to avoid drawing suspicion, I wanted to reduce our losses as much as possible. The disciples were putting away everything within our secret strongholds, which slowed them down. If they had just abandoned some of the less important things, this probably wouldn't have happened. I almost implicated you. Actually, you Ziaokian's mother had done very well. Some resources that the strongholds on the continent had gathered weren't useful in the skyscraping world. So getting rid of them for resources that they did need was good. It was just that there were too many members of the original devil race, and some had been noticed. It's not your fault either. Going slow was correct to avoid suspicion, said Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian's mother could only shake her head with a smile. Walking alongside Long Chen, she said, You don't need to comfort me. A mistake is a mistake. The fortunate thing is that you weren't implicated. If Long Chen's relationship with the original devil race became public, then there would be nowhere for Long Chen to rest within the Martial Heaven continent. That wouldn't be enough to implicate me anyway. Without proof, they can't do anything to me. After cultivating for so many years, I've learned the Martial Heaven continent's rules. As long as your fist is big enough, whatever you say is right. But if your fist is small, then even if everyone knows you're wrongly accused, no one will defend you. They'll be more than happy to condemn you if it benefits them. The cultivation world is just like that. So I destroyed the mechanism sect to show the world that my fist isn't small. I also wanted to eliminate the stone race, but their fist is still bigger than mine. So since others interfered, I didn't mind letting this matter go for now, said Long Chen. He had thought that he was going to beat some kittens, only to find that there was a slumbering tiger in their lair. Just thinking about it irritated him. The stone race's foundation is truly frightening. In his day, Shai Changsheng stood at the peak. Although he couldn't become an emperor, he had the power to challenge the emperors. The stone race are unique life forms, but because they cannot become emperians, Shai Changsheng wasn't able to reach that level. Otherwise, it wouldn't be the three emperors, but the four emperors, said Yu Ziaokian's mother. She actually had quite a bit of knowledge about the stone race race leader, between sovereigns, emperors, and gods. Which one is stronger? Why is it still unclear? Long Chen couldn't help asking. Yu Ziaokian's mother smiled. Emperors have the ability to challenge sovereigns, but it's just the ability to challenge them. Sovereigns are the ones who truly stand at the peak, suppressing all others with a wave of their hands. As for whether they are as strong as gods, there's no way for me to say. Once you reach that level, you will naturally know. Since she refused to say, Long Chen couldn't force her. Everything about sovereigns and gods was taboo and could not be spoken about casually. The stronger the expert, the more they felt that taboo. This was why Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuaya were so grateful that Long Chen had told them everything he knew about Sovereign Yun Chang and his conversation with him. That kind of thing would be a huge secret to anyone else. They might not have said anything but they remembered that favor. How has the original devil race been lately? Asked Long Chen. The ancient powers that have come out recently have sent their disciples throughout every corner of the Martial Heaven continent in search of the location of the Qi flow eruption. Hence, we had to strengthen our defenses to avoid anyone finding the entrance to the skyscraping world. As for our interior, things are progressing very well. We've made many new discoveries in our exploration of the other world and we've found three new rare ore deposits. We've yet to confirm the exact size of the deposit or decide on a location to start excavating though. Good. I've handed over all my resources to the Huaian sect to handle. So you can also send your things to the Huaian sect to trade directly for what the original devil race needs. What kind of ore deposit is it? They're all extremely rare divine ores, but one of them in particular is the legendary Phoenix Blood Immortal Gold. Phoenix Blood Immortal Gold. Long Chen was shocked. That was truly a legendary material. It was said that when a phoenix died, this kind of ore had a chance to form when its blood merged into the earth. The phoenix had a chance of nirvanic rebirth after dying. If it succeeded in being reborn, the nirvanic flames of its revival would impart the ore with the phoenix's spirituality, making it extremely valuable. We have confirmed its Phoenix Blood Immortal Gold 
but we don't know its exact purity yet. We're still investigating all right. I'll have Guo Ran come over to take a look. He should know, said Long Chen. He could also conveniently get started on a plan for extracting and purifying it. As a forging master, he was proficient not just in the forging process, but in all matters relating to it, including material extraction and purification. We've reached the entrance to the other world. Ziaokian is currently cultivating inside. It's about time for her to come out. So you youngsters can chat amongst yourselves you Ziaokian's mother smiled. Only now did Long Chen realize that they had been walking to the spatial gate. It had been a long time since he had come here, and the spatial gate had been completely transformed. The spatial gate was larger and much more stable. The barrier to that world had been fully opened. There were golden runes holding open the very tough channel. Quite the investment. Long Chen knew that the potential of this world was immense. The original devil race was hoping that its resources could allow them to soar. Long Chen entered this foreign world on his own. It was no longer as desolate as it had been when he had first come. There were some towing buildings present. The original devil race was transforming this place into their second encampment. Many disciples were cultivating here or busy at work. Long Chen saw quite a few people busy with handling the ores they were extracting. When those disciples saw Long Chen, they solemnly bowed to him. Everything the original devil race had now was thanks to Long Chen. So they were filled with gratitude toward him. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. The sacred daughter is currently at the floating cloud cliff located in the southwest. A disciple pointed him in the right direction when asked about Yu Ziaokian. Long Chen followed that person's directions. After an hour, he finally reached a tall mountain. There was a steep cliff on this mountain that pierced into the clouds like a sharp blade. Clouds lingered around the sharp peak, and a figure was quietly sitting there. She was like a flawless jade statue. Her long hair rippled to her waist. She currently had her hands in special seals, and runes were floating around her. A sacred chanting filled the air around her. As soon as Long Chen got close, Yu Ziaokian opened her eyes. They shone brightly like two stars, and a sweet smile appeared on her lips. Like a fairy descending from the heavens, Yu Ziaokian floated down into his embrace, tightly wrapping her arms around him, her fragrance filling his heart. Long Chen held on to her closely. He rarely got to be with Yu Ziaokian due to her identity. She was always cultivating alone for him. Long Chen. Let's never part again. All right. Yu Ziaokian held on tightly, her voice quivering. Her feelings for him were real, but she had always been forced to restrain herself and focus on cultivating so that she didn't harm him. Being forced to stay away from him and cultivate alone had been a bitter experience, and her tears poured out now, out of her control, as if unleashing all that bitterness. All right. Let's never part again. I have the power to protect you. Long Chen nodded. Once the dragon blood leggy and sword, he wouldn't be afraid of anyone. Thank you. Yu Ziaokian smiled, her tear-stained face still as beautiful as ever. Unable to stop himself, Long Chen leaned down and gave her a kiss. Chapter 2132 Exploring the Wilds Long Chen We can't Yu Ziaokian suddenly pushed Long Chen away because his hands had started to wander. Yu Ziaokian was red in the face but she did her best to stay cool-headed, pulling away from Long Chen's devil claws. Ah, I lost control a bit. Long Chen was also a bit red. It was only supposed to be a hug and kiss, but then his hands had started moving. Yu Ziaokian was as red as an apple. She looked down, tidying her clothes, stealthily looking up and seeing Long Chen's embarrassed expression. She quietly said, Big sisters Men Chi and Chu Ya knew you first. I... I can't use Ziaokian meant that she couldn't let Long Chen touch her like that, or she would be letting down her big sisters. Although they were all cultivators, and having multiple women sharing a husband wasn't rare, the cultivation world did care about the matter of bigger or smaller. If Yu Ziaokian did do something secretly with Long Chen, that would definitely create a fracture with the others. That was also why despite having opportunities, Meng Chi, Tang Wan or and Chu Yao also hadn't done anything. Although amongst cultivators, the ranking of bigger or smaller wasn't taken too seriously, there were still some taboo things. I'm the one letting you down. 
Long Chen was immediately ashamed. Long Chen, don't talk that way, cried Yu Ziaokian. She thought that he was blaming himself for not giving her an exact place amongst those rankings of bigger to smaller. In truth, what he was ashamed about was how Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, and Yu Ziaokian had managed to resist temptation due to their sisterly promise, while he had ended up losing his virginity. Just thinking about it angered him. However, whenever he thought about that, he also had to force himself to remain cool as two perfectly beautiful bodies appeared in his mind. Yu Ziaokian and the one who looked the exact same as her. The relationships between them and himself could be described as melodramatic. When he thought about that matter, he felt like his head was about to split open. He was deeply worried for Len Yuian but also worried for himself. Len Yuian was just a clone of a god. But after what he had done to that god, would that god take vengeance? How is Wild? Long Chen took a deep breath and pushed those matters aside. Wild's doing very well. He goes hunting every day. And we have people keeping an eye on him to make sure he doesn't get lost again. Let's go see him. It's been a while since I went to see him. Yu Ziaokian wrapped an arm around Long Chen's elbow, smiling sweetly once more. Although nothing substantial occurred between them just now, after that kiss, Yu Ziaokian became more cheerful. Ziaokian, you can return with me this time. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and the others miss you. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race's territory is already established, and no one will make things hard on you there, said Long Chen. He, even if I left the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race's territory, it would be fine. I've already mastered the profound spirit Tao scripture. I can disguise myself perfectly and even my power as a member of the original devil race. I've managed to merge that power with the heavenly Tao energy, so no one would be able to tell my identity. Yu Ziaokian smiled brightly. Really? That scripture's pretty amazing. Long Chen was startled. He hadn't expected the scripture to also possess such a power. Then can others cultivate that scripture as well? Yu Ziaokian shook her head. No. The profound spirit Tao scripture is special. I did my best to teach it to others, but they were unable to comprehend it. Later, my mother told me that this scripture can only be passed on through inheritances. I could only learn it because the senior in that immortal cave blessed me, giving me that inheritance. My mother said that this scripture can only be possessed by one person at any time. If I did pass it on, I wouldn't be able to cultivate it any longer. That's too bad. But now the two of us can go anywhere together. Long Chen was happy that Yu Ziaokian no longer needed to hide herself on the continent. Seeing that he looked even happier than she was, Yu Ziaokian leaned against his shoulder, smiling. The two of them were walking when they heard an angry roar in the distance. That roar had just rung out before a loud bang cut it off. The roar faded away. Long Chen immediately rushed over in that direction. After passing two mountains, he saw a bear lying on the ground, its head crushed. A river of blood flowed out of it. That was a twelfth rank magical beast, and it was still emitting a powerful pressure. Its black fur was shiny, and it actually had scales on its legs. This was an ancient species with immense power. In front of the bear was wild. He was squatting down, preparing a stove. That stove was a divine item that Guo Ran had made for him. This stove didn't need Wild to control it with his spiritual Yuan. It was powered by spirit crystals. Wild was clumsily packing one spirit crystal after another in the outer notches of the stove. The stove began unleashing a powerful flame. Wild tossed the bear onto the stove. The stove unleashed a wave of runes that made the bear shrink until it was just a few feet long. It began to spin on top of the stove. Wild squatted by the stove, waiting with anticipation. He was even drooling. Long Chen couldn't help laughing, feeling a burst of warmth. This brother of his remained the same pure child as when he had first met him. Wild, is that enough for you to eat? Long Chen walked over. Due to how focused Wild was on the meat, he hadn't noticed Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian. Hearing that voice, Wild's whole body shook. Big brother Long, Wild cried and charged out. Hugging Long Chen, the earth shook intensely. Although Long Chen had been prepared, he was still squeezed so tightly that his chest hurt. Wild's power had grown once more. His physical strength was alarming. 
If it was Gu Yang getting hugged, he would cough up blood. Someone else would simply be crushed. Brother Long, I missed you. Why did you only come now? Wilde was sobbing, large tears squeezing out of his eyes. Last time he had been lost, he had thought that he might never see Long Chen again. These days, he saw disciples of the original devil race all the time but never his big brother Long. He was starting to get worried that those disciples had gotten lost like him and that he wouldn't see Long Chen again. Good brother, it was my fault. This time, I'll bring you out to play. How are your rations? Have you prepared enough? Asked Long Chen. There aren't as many magical beasts anymore. Sometimes I have to run very far just to find one. But the brothers and sisters of the original devil race won't let me go any farther. I've only managed to stock up two months of rations. Take a look, Brother Long. Wild handed Long Chen his spatial ring. Long Chen checked inside it and gasped. There were hundreds of magical beasts inside, with every single one being a 12th rank magical beast. Seeing so many of them was shocking. Furthermore, he saw that these magical beasts were not ordinary 12th rank magical beasts, but especially powerful ones amongst 12th rank magical beasts. Some of them could match third step Netherpazage experts. These magical beasts had all been killed by Wild. Long Chen couldn't help gasping because he saw that these magical beasts had been killed in just one blow. To store up more, I've been saving them, not eating too much. Since you're here though, we can eat too, said Wild. Long Chen laughed. Was this fellow treating him? But how much could he eat? He couldn't help feeling sorry for this big oaf. He knew that Wild hated being hungry more than anything else. To store up food, he was going hungry. That was the worst for him. Although Long Chen suspected the celebratory feast today was more for filling his stomach than treating him a new Ziochian, Long Chen happily accepted it. Long Chen picked out a scorpion. The meat inside a scorpion's pincers was the best. Just one pincer was as big as a boat. Long Chen and Yu Ziochian couldn't possibly eat that much. But to give Wild an excuse to eat, they definitely had to eat some. Long Chen also cooked up some of his scarlet blood spirit fish. He directly used the inverse Tao water spirit flame to finish the cooking very quickly. As for Wild, he didn't care about flavor. As long as the meat had energy in it, he gulped it down. The speed at which he ate was frightening. Long Chen and Yu Ziochian hadn't even finished one fish before the scorpion was finished. There were still bones left from the bear, but Wild even ate the scorpion's carapace. After eating, Wild wiped his mouth, looking like he wanted to eat more. Long Chen and Yu Ziochian were speechless. After they finished eating, Long Chen stood up. Let's go. We'll go investigate deeper and see if we can find some more food for Wild. Yu Ziochian's expression changed. Isn't that too dangerous? Chapter 2133 Earth Cavern Tree Demon This world was a wild land filled with a shocking number of powerful magical beasts. Some terrifying auras had been coming from the depths of the wilderness when the Dragonblood Legion had gone out in search of wild. They had then drawn a danger line that no one was supposed to pass. Later, Yu Ziochian's mother had also come over and warned the original devil race's disciples not to go any deeper for fear of provoking those terrifying existences. As for what actually lay in the depths of the wilderness, Yu Ziochian's mother hadn't said. She only said that as long as they didn't step beyond that line, the original devil race would be safe. Now though, Long Chen wanted to cross that line. Yu Ziochian was naturally worried. If it's a disaster, it can't be avoided forever. Knowing what it is earlier so that we can prepare isn't a bad thing. Furthermore, whatever is beyond there must know about the original devil race's movements by now. It doesn't make sense that it would ignore you. We have to go check, said Long Chen. Seeing her hesitation, he held Yu Ziochian's hand. Don't worry, I'm here. I won't go too far. Since Long Chen truly wished to go, and Wild was hopping with excitement. Yu Ziochian could only accompany them. However, before going, she sent a message to her mother and then set up a quick transportation formation at the line. If they didn't go too far, they could activate a formation disc to return here. The only requirement was that they had to have a chance to activate the formation disc. Long Chen and Yu Ziochian suppressed their aura so that they wouldn't be sensed so easily. 
As for Wilde, he didn't have a cultivator's aura anyway. As long as he wasn't in a battle state, his blood chi naturally hid itself. That seemed to be a kind of instinct, because keeping his aura inside reduced the amount of energy he was burning. Careful, Long Chen suddenly pulled back Yu Ziaokian and Wilde, and in that exact moment, a tree root appeared out of the earth, snapping shut like a noose where the three of them had been. What is this? Wilde curiously pulled on the root, and as a result, the earth exploded, with millions of roots shooting at the three of them. Wilde, don't resist said Long Chen suddenly. He took out an ordinary sword and slashed the roots, but the roots were too tough to break. Boom. Suddenly, the world around them darkened. They were enveloped by the roots and pulled into the earth. It's an earth cavern tree demon, said Yu Ziaokian. The earth cavern tree demon was actually classified as a magical beast, but of a vegetative kind. It was split into two portions, the tree portion and the root portion. The tree portion could disguise itself as any precious tree and emit various auras to attract other creatures. When those creatures got close, they would fall into its trap. The three of them were now bound by its roots and sucked underground like prey. Listening to Long Chen, Wilde pretended to struggle, only to find that a blue rune flickered on the roots whenever he applied force, and the roots would expand so that he couldn't apply any power. This earth cavern tree demon is a 12th rank magical beast. Long Chen, are you confident messaged Yu Ziaokian. Yu Ziaokian knew that this earth cavern tree demon was extremely powerful and crafty. After its roots pulled its prey underground, it would form a tight net around it and crush it. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Long Chen gestured to be at ease. He also pretended to struggle. Boom. Golden roots suddenly appeared around them when they reached a certain depth. These golden roots had sharp points, and when Long Chen's sword slashed onto them, metallic sparks flew. Long Chen used his sword to protect them, forcing back the golden roots. Although he couldn't break them, the golden roots were also unable to harm him. As time passed, more golden roots appeared, and the space around them shrank. The pressure grew greater. Ziaokian, help! shouted Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian nodded and formed hand seals. Runes flew out, enveloping the three of them in a barrier that blocked the golden roots. In response, the golden vines tightened around the barrier, trying to crush it. But Yu Ziaokian's barrier was extremely tough. Brother Long, what are you doing? Wilde stared. He still didn't know why Long Chen was making it so troublesome. Why didn't he just let him kill it with a smash of his club? Long Chen gestured to be quiet. The tree roots persevered for an incense stick's worth of time. Then they seemed to lose patience. The golden roots vanished, and a giant mouth suddenly devoured the entire barrier. I was waiting for this. Long Chen suddenly smiled and had Yu Ziaokian release her barrier. A lightning spear appeared in his hand, and he threw it out. When the barrier dissipated, Long Chen and the others found themselves within a sticky pool of foul-smelling liquid. Long Chen's lightning spear instantly blew that liquid apart. The space they were in shook. Ziaokian, help me extract the demon heart. I'll draw its attention. Wild, you come with me. Long Chen transmitted instructions to the other two. Lightning wings spread on his back, and he flew forward. Green liquid arrows shot at Long Chen from every direction. Do you think you can corrode thunder force? Long Chen smiled mockingly continuing to charge forward with Wild. Boom. A large hole appeared ahead. Long Chen and Wild were pulled toward the hole. Long Chen resisted the suction. Now that you've invited the devil in, don't think that you can send him out. The earth cavern tree demon had sensed something wrong and was trying to expel them. Although they were underground, Long Chen saw a giant monstrous figure made entirely of roots. Those roots shot toward them like swords. But Long Chen threw a lightning spear forward. The spear exploded, blowing apart the roots. The lightning then transformed into chains that bound the earth cavern tree demon's body. You think you can bait me with a fake? How could it be so easy to escape? Long Chen pulled on the lightning chains. And just like that, he tore his way above ground again. Let me smash it to death. Seeing the trap tree demon, Wild raised his club. Wild, don't hit it. Long Chen hastily stopped him. The earth cavern tree demon struggled intensely, but Long Chen's lightning chains were too strong for it to escape. 
the surrounding earth was destroyed. Suddenly, its body shook one final time before it stopped struggling. It began to shrink and wither. Its body split open, and Yu Ziaokian walked out. She held a foot-long rhombus-shaped object. That object was blood-red and also emitted a bloody air. Some strange runes were flickering on top of it, and it was almost possible to hear an unwilling roar. I didn't fail your expectations, said Yu Ziaokian with a smile. This was the demonic heart of the earth cavern tree demon. Vegetative magical beasts didn't have crystal cores. This demonic heart was where all its energy was gathered, and once taken, it would instantly die. The earth cavern tree demon had been very crafty, and as soon as it had sensed the danger, it had tried to flee underground. Since it only attacked creatures weaker than it, practically no one had ever seen its demonic heart. But Long Chen refused to let it escape. The reason he knew about the demonic heart was because one of the ingredients in the pill formulas he knew involved its demonic heart. A 12th rank earth cavern tree demon's demonic heart was very precious and could merge into many kinds of medicinal pills. If it was used as a main ingredient, he knew three formulas. If it was used as a supplementary ingredient, it had even more uses. Long Chen took out the moon and star refining furnace right there and started refining the demonic heart. The demonic heart continued to struggle, but it quickly melted into a drop of blood liquid. Long Chen put that liquid away and smiled. Just this one drop of blood made the risk worth it. Yu Ziaokian also smiled, as she knew about this earth cavern tree demon. It was very difficult to kill one. Wild. Keep going forward. Long Chen indicated for Wild to pick a path. That was his habit. Unless he was alone, he would always let someone else pick which direction to go. To be able to run into a rare earth cavern tree demon like this was definitely Wild's luck. Long Chen was benefiting from that. He had always been very confident in his bad luck. Although Wild didn't quite understand, he simply followed Long Chen's instructions. The three of them went deeper and deeper. As they got deeper, Long Chen felt a heart palpitating sensation. Yu Ziaokian sensed the same thing. Only Wild didn't feel anything. Long Chen. We've gone too far, any further, and we'll be beyond the range of the transportation formation, warned Yu Ziaokian. Any further and the formation disc she had prepared would be useless. Just at that moment, a furious row rang out. Although it came from a great distance, the divine pressure that came with it made Yu Ziaokian and Long Chen's hair stand on end. Chapter 2134 Once more seeing the winged devil race a row rang out like crashing waves resounding with such power it shook their very souls. This was definitely not the roar of an ordinary 12th rank magical beast. Only a magical beast at the peak of the 12th rank could do such a thing. An existence with power on par with the 4th step nether passage expert. Long Chen had exchanged blows with the mechanism sect's patriarch. And although the patriarch had been bedeviled at that time, Long Chen still remembered that pressure clearly. Following the first roar, Countless others rang out. What's going on? Is a beast tide about to occur? Yu Ziaokian's expression changed. If a beast tide occurred now, it would be trouble. The original devil race hadn't made any preparations against it. It doesn't sound like it. So let's not randomly guess. Ziaokian, send a message to the race leader to immediately retreat from this world. We have to go deeper and see what's going on, said Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian immediately activated one of the original devil race's secret arts used for sending distress signals. Runes shot out of her, speeding away toward the entrance to this world. They would pass on the information they knew. Long Chen, this is too dangerous. We're only three people, said Yu Ziaokian. Don't worry, I have the Azure Dragon's essence blood. If I activate the dragon might, these magical beasts will be suppressed. Plus. I have other trump cards. I'm confident in being able to protect us. Whatever is in the depths of this wilderness must know about our mining. We have to understand why it knows but still ignores us. The sooner the better since Long Chen was so confident. Yu Ziaokian stopped trying to change his mind. And the three of them moved toward the sounds. After just an incense stick's worth of time. The ground began to incessantly shake. The roaring appeared once more and rays of divine light exploded over the horizon. There's a fight? Let's speed up. Flabbergasted. 
Long Chen shot forward. The three of them quickly reached a region where astral winds raged, lifting up waves of earth and sending boulders flying through the air. The further they went, the greater the pressure grew. Yu Ziaokian felt like there was a boulder pressing down on her, and like she would be torn apart. Long Chen blocked the pressure with his own body, standing in front of Yu Ziaokian to help alleviate some of it. Yu Ziaokian's physical body wasn't her strong point, and to conceal their auras, they couldn't circulate their spiritual yuan to protect themselves. Long Chen and Wild could ignore this pressure with just their physical bodies, and with Long Chen in front. Yu Ziaokian managed to endure. They were now continuing forward blind, as thick dust whirled around them. Bang! Long Chen smashed apart a boulder that had been hurtling toward them. He told Wild to follow from behind because Wild's spiritual strength was weak, and he wouldn't be able to sense some dangers in time. By this time, they had reached the edge of the battlefield, so luck wasn't as necessary. Boom! A powerful explosion sent a huge wave of earth collapsing over the three of them. Long Chen protected Yu Ziaokian as they were devoured. When the three of them climbed out of the earth, they saw a giant corpse lying on the ground in front of them. It was so huge that they couldn't tell what it was while being so close. However, even a dead magical beast could emit a terrifying pressure. The three of them climbed up its giant body. When they managed to see its head, Yu Ziaokian gasped. It's an ancient species, the blue-eye golden toad. This corpse that was bigger than a mountain was a toad, but it only had three legs, and its body was covered in golden scales. As for its head, it had been pierced by something. Half of its body was buried in the earth, and its stomach was pointed to the sky. Hearing what it was, Long Chen jumped. He hastily ran over to the hole in its head and managed to luckily find a crystal core. The heavens have blessed me. Long Chen was incredibly excited by this find. It was also a treasure for refining pills. There are four blood runes on the crystal core, meaning this blue-eye golden toad had reached the peak of the twelfth rank, comparable to a fourth-step nether passage expert, said Yu Ziaokian. She was shocked. A magical beast on the level of a fourth-step nether passage expert had been slain? Just what kind of terrifying existence could do that? Suddenly. Another furious row rang out, and chi waves crashed down on them like a tsunami. The corpse they were on was blown into the distance. Damn. Just what level of battle is this? Long Chen was stunned. The pressure coming from that fight shook his heart. Ziaokian, how about you go back first? I can go see what it is with Wild. No, I'll come with you. I can sense a devilish air. We have to go together to see what it is, said Yu Ziaokian. Seeing that she was determined, Long Chen nodded. He put away the corpse of the blue eye golden frog and continued onward. Boom. A giant elephant tusk slammed into the ground. It had been flying toward them, and if Long Chen hadn't sensed it, it might have pierced the three of them. The heavenly killin' barbarian elephant's tusk. It's another peak 12th rank magical beast. Yu Ziaokian recognized the origin of this tusk. The tusk was as wide as jade and still emitted a powerful pressure. Runes continued to swirl around it, telling them just how terrifying it was. But even something as terrifying as it had been crushed. Long Chen grabbed the tusk and put it away. His heartbeat quickening. There was probably an immense battle going on, and the danger probably exceeded what he had expected. The roars of magical beasts shook their ears. There was another sound mixed in with them. A sound that made it feel like needles were stabbing into their ears, causing their heads to hurt. This is the winged devil ghost cry. It's a divine ability of the winged devil race. Yu Ziaokian's expression suddenly changed. The winged devil race? The same as the corpses we found in the Jiuli secret realm, asked Long Chen. Yes, the winged devil race is the oldest of the devil races and possesses the most varieties. There are many branches amongst the winged devil race and the ones we saw in the Jiuli secret realm are of the weakest variety. They can't compare to the current winged devils here, whispered Yu Ziaokian. The three of them crawled on top of a stone mountain. The land here had been wrecked, leaving behind only some tougher minerals. All the dirt had been blasted away. These stones were all extremely tough to be able to still be standing here. Long Chen, Yu Ziaokian, and Wild hid behind them as they stealthily stuck their heads out. Seeing the sight before them, Long Chen couldn't help gasping. 
Giant magical beasts were fighting on this battlefield, battling against countless monstrous humanoid figures with wings. Those monstrous figures were 300 meters tall, with pointed ears and teeth. Their hands and feet were sharp claws. They were members of the winged devil race. Long Chen had seen other winged devils in Devil Spirit Mountain, but they were of a different breed. The ones he had seen then weren't as large, and while in terms of shape the difference wasn't too great, the auras they had possessed were completely different from these ones. Looking into the distance, Long Chen saw a giant hole in the center of the battlefield. Countless winged devils were pouring out of that hole in an endless tide. Suddenly, the sky dimmed. A giant figure flipped and then was torn in two in the sky, unleashing a rain of blood. Because it had been too fast, they couldn't see what magical beast it was. But based on its aura, it had to be a peak 12th ranked magical beast. Long Chen looked at the side of the magical beasts. He saw a golden horned drake that seemed to be commanding the magical beasts. It was currently fighting a winged devil covered in blood runes. That particular winged devil held a large trident. With each swing, heaven and earth were torn apart. The spatial laws of the world were destroyed in front of it. It's the winged devil king race, said Yu Ziaokian. Blanching, the blood-colored winged devil blocked a claw from the golden horned drake, and a ray of sword light suddenly shot out of its forehead, piercing through the head of another magical beast. Long Chen suddenly realized that the blue-eyed golden toad had also been killed by this move. It was a one-shot killer, one that came without any warning. The golden horned drake roared, opening its mouth. A wave of dragon breath roared out. Golden flames set the world on fire. However, that blood-colored winged devil sneered, spreading its wings. It formed a barrier that blocked the dragon breath. Why would the winged devil race attack this place? Asked Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian looked at the blood-colored winged devil gravely. The winged devil is an ancient devil race. Traces of them are spread throughout all of history. Their various species inhabit the entire cosmos and are like cockroaches with a strong life force. Wherever there is life, they will go there, breaking the barriers between worlds to undergo slaughters. The souls of the life forms they kill are absorbed to strengthen them, which is why slaughter is the only way for them to survive. Since they're attacking this place, it probably means that this world's dark era has come in advance. This world also has a dark era asked Long Chen. Startled, he had thought that it was just the martial heaven continent. The dark era can spread throughout the entire cosmos. It's just a matter of which world it strikes first. This world is also within the domain of the dark era, answered Yu Ziaokian. Boom. The golden horned drake and the blood-colored winged devil clashed once again. One of the drake's claws was split open, and golden blood flowed out. It had been injured. I just noticed. That golden horned drake's blood chi seems to be lacking? What's going on? Asked Long Chen curiously. She's pregnant and looks to be about to give birth. Said Yu Ziaokian. Suddenly, the golden horned drake was blown back. Crashing into a stone mountain. The mountain crumbled. A mass of blood flew out and a small golden drake appeared in the sky. Chapter 2135 Joining hands to kill it's been born. Seeing that little drake flying out, Yu Ziaokian let out a startled cry. The birth of this drake represented the death of its mother. Magical beasts needed to have the ability to survive bad conditions. For magical beasts, being pregnant was one of their most dangerous moments. If other magical beasts were to set their sights on them during that time, they might be easily killed. That was why higher tier magical beasts had a divine ability to have the fetus die within them if they were in crisis. As long as the fetus had not been born, it could be reabsorbed for a burst of power. But this golden horned drake refused to do so even in the face of such a terrifying enemy. It had given birth, causing its power to sharply drop. The blood-colored winged devil's eyes brightened upon seeing the little drake and blue saliva actually dripped out of its mouth. It charged directly toward it. The adult golden horned drake immediately blocked its path, but in its weakened state, it was instantly blown away. Just as the winged devil was about to reach the little drake, a giant claw came crashing down from the sky at it. Boom. The winged devil was sent flying. Another giant golden horned drake had appeared. That golden horned drake had just forced back the winged devil when blood splashed from its back. A trident was stabbing into its back, tearing through its scales. 
Two other tridents appeared at the same time, but before they could attack, the golden horned drake roared. Its scales lit up, and its tail whipped through the air, shattering the void. Three figures appeared within that shattered space, and Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian couldn't help but gasp. Those three were also experts of the Winged Devil King race. This golden horned drake had been fighting the three of them, and seeing his mate and child in danger, it had come to assist. The price for that was taking a trident in its back. The void rumbled. More golden horned drakes appeared, but at the same time, more winged devils appeared. Only now did Long Chen notice that there was another entrance far in the distance. Another army of winged devils was pouring out of there. Those winged devils weren't part of the winged devil king race, but their auras were definitely above average. Furthermore, their numbers were appalling. As for the golden horned drake that had come to save its mate and child, it was clearly the king of the magical beasts here. On its own, it managed to hold back four of the winged devil king race's experts. However, it was clearly at an immense disadvantage against the four of them. It was injured time and time again. The surrounding magical beast slaughtered the winged devils charging out of the openings, but there was an endless tide of them. Curiously, there were only 12th rank magical beasts present. After pondering it for a moment, Long Chen concluded that in this battle, only other 12th rank magical beasts could ignore the pressure of high ranking magical beasts. Magical beasts at the 11th rank and below wouldn't be able to help due to the pressure of their own comrades. Moreover, there had to be over 10,000 12th rank magical beasts here. They were like bashing mountains, but for every winged devil they killed, another appeared. On the other hand, if they showed any weakness, the winged devils would immediately pounce on them. Even these powerful 12th rank magical beasts were dying one by one. Countless winged devils flocked toward the mother drake and the child drake, looking hungry. The mother was quickly covered in wounds, while the king of the drakes was held back by those four blood-colored winged devils. One of the winged devils managed to stab its claw and rip off a chunk of its flesh. That was no light wound. Long Chen, what do we do? Yu Ziaokian bit her lip, feeling moved by the mother protecting its child. Although these magical beasts aren't our friends. They aren't necessarily our enemies, but the winged devils are definitely our enemies. We have to take action. Once the mother dies, the King Drake will go crazy and also won't be able to last much longer. The rest will collapse not long after. Ziaokian, tell your mother to send reinforcement immediately. Wild, follow my directions. The winged devil king race is too powerful. We'll need to work together to handle them. Long Chen rushed off the mountain going straight toward the battlefield. Yu Ziaokian immediately activated her secret art again, sending runes flying back toward the skyscraping world. Sister Ziaokian, what do I do? Asked Wild. Lost. Don't rush. Long Chen will tell you in a bit, said Yu Ziaokian with a smile. Without instructions, Wild felt uneasy, afraid he might do something to bring trouble. The battle was growing bloodier. More magical beasts were dying even as they brought down more winged devils. Corpses piled up and rivers of blood flowed. The mother drake was surrounded by countless winged devils. It was covered in wounds to protect its child. But with hundreds of winged devils attacking, it was finally knocked away. Like wolves, those winged devils pounced on the child drake. Both the mother and father roared, but they were unable to stop it. Starfall, a giant flame sphere exploded amongst the winged evils blasting them to bits. Long Chen appeared beside the child Drake, and with a wave of his hand, he sent it floating toward its mother. Raging flames devour the heavens, with him at the center. Long Chen unleashed a wave of fire, enveloping all the surrounding winged devils. The stronger ones were able to suppress the flames, but the weaker ones were unable to resist the inverse Tao water spirit flame and were incinerated. The entire battlefield was thrown into chaos by Long Chen's arrival. The mother drake stared at Long Chen, stunned, not knowing what to do. Damnable human race. Die. One of the four blood-colored winged devils attacking the drake king turned to Long Chen. It actually spoke the same language. The little winged devil race also dares to say big words in front of me? I'll kill you with a single slash of my blade. Long Chen raised Evil Moon. He took eight steps in the air, and with each step, his aura grew. Split the heavens eight. 
The winged devil snorted and Devil Chi surged out of its trident. It seemed to be using some technique. Devil suppressing seal. Suddenly, a ray of divine light shot out of the sky and struck that winged devil. It let out a cry, and its whole body began to emit smoke as if it was burning. Just at that moment, Long Chen's attack crashed down, clenching its teeth. The winged devil raised its trident. Boom. The trident was sent flying, and one of its arms shattered. Long Chen's saber had slashed onto its head. However, its head was surprisingly tough, and Long Chen's attack only left a dent on it. Its head was actually just as tough as a divine item. The winged devil tried to retreat, but the light shining out of the mark on Yu Ziaokian's forehead followed it, and it was like sunlight shining onto a snowman. The wings on its back began to show signs of melting. The winged devil flew away from Long Chen, but it didn't notice that in the direction it was flying was a large stone mountain, and on it was a large figure. Wild smashed his club at the back of the winged devil's head. Boom. In other regards, Wild might be lacking, but this one attack of his was perfect. Since he didn't release any aura, no one could sense his existence, making it a solid strike. The winged devil's head split open but didn't explode. When Wild pulled back his club, the winged devil's head collapsed. A crystal appeared where its forehead was. A runic sword struck that crystal. Blood splashed as it was sent flying out of the winged devil's body. The winged devil's body shuddered, and all its life force vanished. As for that crystal, it fell into Yu Ziaokian's hand. Haha, <laughs> nice work. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. With the three of them working together, they had managed to eliminate one of those blood-colored winged devils. That sense of accomplishment was exhilarating. Chapter 2136 Devil Suppressing Divine Seal Yu Ziaokian almost cried out in excitement upon obtaining the crystal. The divine seal of the original devil race had an innate devil suppressing effect, and this power could be upgraded. However, the requirement for upgrading this power was absorbing the essence of devil cores. This was the special ability bestowed upon them by the heir of the nine stars. In the Jiuli secret realm, the winged devils were very low level, and their crystal cores were impure. But the crystal core she was holding right now was of such high purity that she might be able to directly advance her divine seal upon absorbing its energy. Watch out! Long Chen suddenly shouted, grabbing Yu Ziaokian and pulling her away. With his lightning wings, he sped away. The other three blood-colored winged devils had abandoned the Drake King and were rushing over in their direction. More accurately, they were coming for Yu Ziaokian. Holding Yu Ziaokian. Long Chen managed to dodge the attacks of the first two, but he couldn't dodge the third. Pushing Yu Ziaokian back, he blocked the winged devil with his saber, but the winged devil's trident sent him flying back. He vomited a mouthful of blood. Now he truly experienced just how powerful those blood-colored winged devils were. Receiving that trident was like being smashed by a star. The devil chi within that trident had actually invaded Long Chen's body making him feel like millions of needles were piercing him. You dare to hit my brother Long. Wild immediately went wild. Transforming into a 300-meter giant, he smashed his club at the winged devil that had injured Long Chen. Boom. The webbing between Wild's forefinger and thumb split open, causing fresh blood to flow. But the winged devil was also forced back several steps. At this moment, the Drake King rushed over. It had decided that Long Chen and the others were here to help. So it went after the two other two blood-colored winged devils. Ziaokian, continue. We'll work together to eliminate another one of them. Long Chen wiped off some blood from his mouth. With a cold snort, he swung his saber at the winged devil. Yu Ziaokian's devil seal reappeared on her forehead and unleashed a bright light at the winged devil. But this time, a blood-colored light barrier appeared in front of it, blocking Yu Ziaokian's light. The barrier began to burn but it was able to remain standing. Long Chen, it has the blood of kings, and my divine seal is too weak to suppress it without some time. Transmitted Yu Ziaokian, without any opportunity to cultivate her divine seal. Its power was not high enough. The reason she had been able to suppress the first one was because it hadn't been on guard. That's fine. We'll just have to go all out. Long Chen took a deep breath as he summoned the Azure Dragon Battle Armor. Boom. Long Chen was sent flying back even though the winged devil had just blocked Wild's club and dealt with Yu Ziaokian's light. 
However, this time, the winged devil was also knocked back, flipping through the air. Ziaokian, just keep this up. With your divine seal present, it has to expend some of its power to resist it. We do have some chance of killing it, shouted Long Chen. Just now, he had found that the winged devil's power wasn't as ferocious as before, allowing him to see some hope. Long Chen and Wild joined forces, starting an intense fight with the winged devil. Long Chen was shocked to find Wild's power had grown even more terrifying. Just the power of Wild's physical body had surpassed his. After transforming into a giant, his power was actually on par with the winged devil. Furthermore, the winged devil's devil chi was unable to invade his body. He had a natural resistance to it. The original devil race's energy was special, and it was a kind of power that wasn't within the laws of the martial heaven continent. But even they needed to expend some spiritual yuan to resist the invasion of the devil chi. Only Wild was able to completely ignore it. His bone club whistled through the air. It was like it was as heavy as a star, unleashing immense power with each strike. His wild strikes almost caught Long Chen in between them, making Long Chen speechless. He had wanted to fight alongside Wild, but Wild didn't know how to cooperate. He was just blindly swinging his club. Long Chen had no choice but to switch to being a support. Since Wild didn't know how to work together, there was a chance that Long Chen might injure him if he tried using one of his powerful techniques. However, Long Chen also didn't specialize in long-range support, and Wild's fight with the Winged Devil was too fast. He couldn't help him much. I'll have to switch targets. Long Chen finally decided to leave. Wild seemed to be a match for the Winged Devil, so Long Chen went to the other battlefield. Split the Heavens 8. Long Chen immediately unleashed a full-strength attack. One of the winged devils had just been knocked back by the Drake King, and Long Chen's saber smashed toward it. The winged devil had yet to stabilize before being struck by this attack, so it was blown into the distance. As for Long Chen, he had to deal with the invasion of the devil Qi once more, and his arm bled from the impact. With a snort, Long Chen covered himself in lightning. The invasion of the devil Qi immediately weakened. Wild Lightning Soul Battle Spear the winged devil let out a sharp shriek. Devil Chi surged out of its body, and a ray of light shot out of its forehead, piercing straight through the lightning spear Long Chen had summoned. Upon seeing that light, Long Chen's lightning wings flapped, and he forcibly twisted to the side. The light pierced straight through his lightning spear and shot right past his body. This was an attack that even a peak 12th rank magical beast wasn't able to survive. He had seen it in action and had always been on guard against it. Starfall. A large flame sphere shot toward the winged devil and exploded, setting it on fire. But even the terrifying inverse Tao water spirit flame was quickly suppressed by its devil chi. Just at this moment, an even stronger explosion occurred nearby. The Drake King had torn its opponent into pieces now that it was one against one. The Drake King seemed to have noticed that this was its chance and had gone all out to kill the other winged devil, but it had been heavily injured by the winged devil's final blow. Its trident had nearly gone through the Drake King's body. The Drake King immediately went to support Long Chen after stabilizing its condition. A giant claw came crashing down from the sky. Now Long Chen also experienced just how terrifying the Drake King's power was. Boom. The Winged Devil was unable to block the Drake King on its own. With just one attack, its arm was torn off. Long Chen grabbed that chance to slash the Winged Devil in the neck. Black blood splashed as a large head flew into the air. A tail whipped over, blowing the head to bits. The Drake King was actually able to cooperate with Long Chen very well. Long Chen reached out and grabbed the crystal from its head. After killing two of the blood-colored Winged Devils, the Drake King let out a roar that shook the world. The magical beasts fighting the other winged devils also roared. The Drake King seemed to be trying to raise their morale. The Drake King shot into motion, going for its next target. But just as it raised its claw, it paused. That was because Wild's fight with the other blood-colored winged devil had reached a tough spot. Both sides were equally matched, and they were locked in such close combat that it was difficult to interfere. Long Chen was about to tell Wild to retreat and have the Drake King handle that winged devil, when his expression suddenly changed. From the distance, several terrifying auras were rising. 
Long Chen saw seven of those blood-colored winged devils flying over to them. Not good. Long Chen was startled. The Drake King was already injured, and although it had temporarily stopped its injuries from getting any worse, it couldn't beat seven of those blood-colored winged devils by itself. However, those seven winged devils didn't even look at the Drake King. They were glaring at you Ziaokian, a crazy killing intent surging out of them. Ziaokian, retreat, shouted Long Chen. He rushed toward the seven winged devils. The original devil race was the bane of the winged devil race, and so their first target was you Ziaokian. Evil devils blocked the way, throwing the world into chaos. The divine seal was bestowed upon me to suppress all devils and return the world to peace. Using the combined faith of the original devil race, I ask the cosmos for power. Devil suppressing divine seal. Activate. Just as Long Chen condensed a small flame lotus in his hand and prepared to activate the Nirvana scripture, a chant rang out that made him turn back. He saw a figure standing in the sky, palms pressed together, a devil mark on her forehead blazing with divine light. Mom, Yu Ziaokian let out a delighted cry. This person was Yu Ziaokian's mother, the original devil race's leader, Yu Zihan. The divine light from her seal filled the world. Those blood-colored winged devils were actually so terrified that they turned and fled. Seal, Yu Zihan slowly opened her hands. Her middle finger and ring finger were together, as were her thumb, forefinger, and little finger. Forming that strange hand seal, she let out a cold cry. A blinding ray of light shot out of her forehead, going through her hand seal and striking the blood-colored winged devils. As it passed through her hand seal, the light transformed into a giant seal character. Boom. The ordinary winged devils in range vanished from existence. The only trace of any winged devils in the path of her attack were seven statues. The seven blood-colored winged devils had been turned to stone. What a terrifying divine art. Long Chen stared. Completely dumbstruck. Chapter 2137 Tidying up the seven blood-colored winged devils were destroyed by Yu Ziaokian's sword. After being turned to stone, they were brittle and easily destroyed. Yu Ziaokian waved her hand, gathering the seven devil cores. She then flew over to the mother, looking at her worshipfully. Mom, you're so powerful. After cultivating for a few thousand years, I finally have a chance to slay some devils. I suppose I've finally won some face for our ancestors. Yu Zihan smiled, gratified. The original devil race existed to slay devils, and now she had finally done that. They had inherited the devil slaying arts for countless years but hadn't had any targets to use them on. Today, they could finally feel some pride in being members of the original devil race. After those seven blood-colored winged devils were killed, the other winged devils panicked and began to flee for the exit. My blood leads the way. My soul opens the path. Yu Zivan formed new hand seals, and the other experts of the original devil race that she had brought along followed, quietly chanting the same thing as her. Condense Yu Zivan let out a cry. All the original devil race's experts began to shine. A drop of crystal and liquid floated out of every one of their foreheads, flying toward Yu Zivan. A drop also came out of Yu Zivan's forehead. It sparkled with a pure light and a supreme will was contained within that one drop. All the drops gathered into a ball of water that dropped onto the ground. That ball of water had no aura. It didn't whistle toward the ground with any speed. But when it fell, the world became still. The only thing moving within the world was that ball of water. Boom. The ball exploded. A ripple spread in every direction, instantly enveloping the battlefield. The ripple didn't harm the magical beasts. It didn't even cause their fur to ripple. However, those fleeing winged devils instantly blew apart. Millions of winged devils were killed by this one attack. This, Long Chen was shocked. The original devil race's devil slaying arts were incomparable. This wasn't a fight but a slaughter. It didn't seem to take any effort. Even the magical beasts were shocked. They simply stood there, not daring to move. The Drake King, its mate, and its child stood there, quietly staring at the battlefield that was filled with corpses. Finally, a row rang out. One of the wild lions bared its fangs at the experts of the original devil race. After all, magical beasts were magical beasts. Their bloodlines were wild, resulting in their intelligence being very low. They mostly acted on instinct. 
the other magical beasts also began to show hostility toward the original devil race. The experts of the original devil race began to grow nervous. These were terrifying 12th rank magical beasts, and the original devil race didn't have any special suppressive effect against them. What? Do you want to become enemies? Demanded Long Chen, walking forward. However, he didn't need to do any more before the Drake King let out a growl. Those terrifying 12th rank magical beasts immediately ceased any hostile actions. They just stared. The Drake King came forward with its mate and lowered its head to Long Chen. That posture seemed to be expressing their thanks. The Drake King then made several sounds, seeming to be trying to communicate with Long Chen. But Long Chen wasn't Menchi, and he couldn't understand. He suddenly had a thought. He bit his finger, forcing out three drops of his essence blood that he sent flying toward the Drake King, its mate, and its child. When those drops of essence blood appeared, all the golden horned drakes present shivered, staring intensely at the blood. This blood contained the Azure Dragon's essence blood. Anything related to the dragon race would sense the divine aura contained within it. Before this, Long Chen had summoned the Azure Dragon battle armor but had been forced to suppress it so that he didn't release any dragon might. If he had, all the magical beasts would have been suppressed by that pressure. Now though, sensing the power within just these three drops of blood, the magical beasts stared at Long Chen fearfully. Being instinctual creatures, these magical beasts wouldn't factor in Long Chen's cultivation base, or if he was a match for them. This dragon might was enough to make them afraid. This was why Long Chen dared to enter the depths of the wilderness. The Drake King took the initiative to swallow the drop of blood floating toward it. Marks began to appear on its scales, and its aura vaguely began to transform. As for its mate, it actually sent both drops toward its child, sending them into its body. The tiny drake's body shuddered, and then it fell asleep, not knowing what was going on. Seeing this, Yu Ziaokian was once more moved. She looked at her own mother, who was also looking at her with a loving smile. Respected expert, thank you for coming to our aid. The Drake King actually began to communicate mentally with Long Chen. That was because Long Chen had left a spiritual mark within his blood so that he could communicate with the Drake King. No need to be courteous. I possess dragon blood, so we aren't technically outsiders. Are you the ruler of this world? Asked Long Chen. Yes, but also no. This world is split into two portions, and I control the eastern portion. The west is controlled by the Blood Phoenix race. We often fight, but neither one of us is able to dominate the other answered the Drake King. Long Chen was startled, not having expected that this wild world was actually split into two factions. Then do you know who I am? asked Long Chen. You are one of the life forms from the other world who have recently come. We were planning on forcing you back, but then these openings to the devil world appeared here. Powerful winged devils occasionally come out, so we have no choice but to concentrate our attention here. We haven't had time to handle you said the Drake King after a moment of silence. Long Chen smiled. This Drake King actually did have some thoughts. It even considered whether to answer truthfully to Long Chen. Perhaps you aren't too welcoming toward us, but this could be an opportunity for you. Sometimes a careless investment can have a good return. For example, because you didn't expel us, we were able to help you during your most critical moment. Correct. Without all of you, we would have died. I have to thank you especially for saving our child. The Drake King nodded. Hearing this, Long Chen was much more confident. It should be easier for him to get the magical beasts to do what he wanted. Can you have your people leave for now so we can clean up the battlefield? It seems that they aren't too friendly toward us, said Long Chen. The Drake King nodded and began to roar at the magical beasts. Those magical beasts glanced at Long Chen, some of them ominously. The Drake King immediately gave a real roar, and those magical beasts scattered. After they left, Yu Ziaokian and the others excitedly went through the battlefield. The devil cores of these winged devils were priceless treasures to them. Wild also swept through the battlefield. There were over a thousand powerful magical beasts that had been slain during this battle, and their huge corpses were his rations. Long Chen told Wild not to eat those corpses for now. He wanted to extract their essence blood, crystal cores, 
and anything useful for alchemy first. In the end, the only magical beast left was the Drake King that accompanied Long Chen. After tidying up the battlefield, Long Chen, Yu Zihan, and the Drake King went to the huge opening from which the winged devils had come. This hole was many miles wide. There were two such openings, and they were covered in black chi that made them like gaping mouths. A sinister air came from them. These led to the devil world, asked Long Chen. Yu Zihan said, not exactly. There are countless devil worlds sprinkled throughout millions of star fields. Every star field has countless worlds like the Martial Heaven continent. This channel can be considered a crack in the chaotic flow of space. The winged devil race is constantly trying to invade other worlds. So when they find one, they will immediately establish a channel to that world. Just like the sects of the Martial Heaven continent, they view other worlds as resources, and we are their prey. They'll normally send a few devil races to attack the various worlds. You defended the Zhuanshan Dao sect's abyss against those devils before. The devil race consists of many different species, said to number in the millions. The winged devils are simply the oldest amongst the devil races, and the majority of the devil race belongs to the winged devil race. Of course, they're also the ones that do the most killing of the human race. Long Chen, if you have this Drake King help, I can seal this channel to keep some peace for now, said Yu Zihan. No, we can't do that. Long Chen hastily waved his hand. Chapter 2138 A new collaboration what is it? Asked Yu Zihan. While the winged devil race was not continuing their attack, this was their chance to seal this channel. For the winged devil race to reopen a new channel was very difficult. Even if they could manage it, the timeline would be several years into the future. We can't. Without the threat of the winged devil race, the magical beasts will turn on us. We have to leave this channel. Only when there is profit can any relationship be steady, said Long Chen. All right, we aren't skilled in this regard, so I'll leave it to you, said Yu Zihan. Perhaps it was because they had been stuck in the skyscraping world for too long, but she wasn't used to plotting like this. Long Chen nodded and began communicating spiritually with the Drake King. He gravely said, this superior of mine has said that this channel was opened by the winged devil race, and we can't break it. So it'll be hard on you in the future. The winged devils will continue to attack you. You should prepare for a long-term battle they'll return. Asked the Drake King. Long Chen nodded. They won't just return. They'll bring even stronger members. The Drake King fell silent. This was a bolt from the blue to it. It didn't know how to face it. Ask me for help. Please? How am I supposed to start if you don't ask? Long Chen waited for what felt like half the day but the Drake King didn't say anything. Finally, Long Chen had to take the initiative. How about this? We can help you defend this channel. We can protect this world together. However, to protect this channel, we need some underground ores to build some tools. So can you stop these magical beasts from attacking us while we excavate the ores? That was Long Chen's goal. He wanted the ores, but he also wanted the original devil race defending this location. Because by slaying the winged devils, they could obtain devil cores to upgrade their divine seals. With the Drake King's approval, they could explore more of this world and find more ore deposits. They didn't know how old this world was, but it seemed that no one had ever extracted the minerals below the ground. It was unknown just how many resources there were to be found. In comparison, the Martial Heaven Continent's resources had been almost exhausted. Any small ore deposit would cause a huge fight. Without the birth of new resources, the large powers were only fighting over what they had as their pockets grew tighter. If they could properly use this wild world, Long Chen would get an endless supply of resources. That probably won't work. The Drake King shook its head. Long Chen had been in the midst of thinking about how to further develop things when the Drake King's words extinguished those dreams. He felt a chill. Why not? Do you not want us to guard this channel? In his view, this was a mutually beneficial agreement. It's not that. Our bloodlines have regressed too far. To tell the truth, without your blood, my head would still be cloudy. All the magical beasts here are the same, and those who can maintain clear heads are few and far between. Even I am often attacked by others, so I have to kill a few every now and then. Those magical beasts can't control themselves and I also only rule over half of them. 
The strongest magical beasts of this world are not permitted to come here by me, because if they do, they won't differentiate between friend or foe. Although I am the king of this place, I can't control those magical beasts. Even if I agreed, it wouldn't work. You saw it just now. Those magical beasts should have thanked you for saving us. But that feeling of gratitude was quickly overwhelmed by their instincts to kill you. Magical beasts were magical beasts. Wild and berserk. The Drake King had only managed to become king through slaughter. Although it was able to gather a portion of magical beasts to fight here. One reason was because its own pressure was present as it fought alongside them. While another reason was that magical beasts were warlike. So getting them to fight was comparatively easy. But getting them to not attack Long Chen and the others? Impossible. Long Chen sighed with relief. As long as the Drake King agreed, everything else could be handled. Then how about this? We will guard this channel and mine the ores. We won't take the initiative to provoke any of you. But if your people take the initiative to harm us, can we kill them? Probed Long Chen. Of course. It would be best if you killed all those disobedient fellows. The thing is, do you have that power? The Drake King doubted that Long Chen could eliminate those magical beasts that threatened its position. Compared to humans, these magical beasts were dumb. The Drake King didn't even think of the possibility that once all its fellow magical beasts were killed, it would be isolated. Long Chen said, We can naturally handle them. All we need is your approval. I'll draw out a region where you tell your subordinates not to attack us. As for those who don't listen, I'll help you teach them a lesson making your position even more stable here. Do you trust me? I trust you, said the Drake King. Why? Your bloodline is very noble. We should listen to your orders. Long Chen was a bit startled. He suddenly looked into the Drake King's eyes and saw a faint blood-colored dragon mark. Oh? You aren't a Drake. You should be called a member of the dragon race. That mark was natural. It could not be acquired. It must have true dragons amongst its ancestors but their bloodline regressed, going from dragon to drake. This is the consequence of mixing multiple bloodlines, said Yu Zihan. A serpent could transform into a python, a python could transform into a drake, and a drake could transform into a true dragon. But a dragon could also regress if its bloodline power faded, transforming back into a drake, and even going all the way back into a serpent. How regretful, sighed Long Chen. That's also why its power stands at the peak of the 12th rank but it cannot take that final step. Its bloodline limits it from breaking through that final barrier, said Yu Zihan. Long Chen nodded. Turning back to the Drake King, he said, Don't worry, I possess the bloodline of the true dragon. You can sense my sincerity. We won't let you suffer a loss in this cooperation. Later on. I will try to think of some way to stimulate your bloodline and allow you to break your shackles. Transforming from a drake to a dragon of the 13th rank. Hearing that, the drake king trembled with excitement. It immediately thanked Long Chen. It had been stuck at this barrier for many years. It had lost hope of such a thing. But it trusted Long Chen. Perhaps it was because it had never been tricked in its life. Or due to the true dragon bloodline. But it didn't doubt Long Chen's words at all. Long Chen had the Drake King deliver its proclamation to its subordinate magical beasts. He and Yu Zihan then returned to the channel. Yu Zihan said, Youngsters have some interesting ideas. Like this, we'll really be killing two birds with one stone. We're clearly the ones benefiting, but they're grateful to us. It's not like it's not mutually beneficial. Without us, this entire world might have been destroyed by those winged devils, said Long Chen. Now we can really start mining. I'll send over a portion of the Dragon Blood Legion to guard against any attacks from magical beasts. We'll also need to start some large scale arrangements for these two channels. The Drake King has said that this region will surely be safe from magical beasts' attacks. So we only need to set up some basic protections against them just in case. The rest should be entirely focused on building devil slaying formations defending against magical beasts isn't our specialty. But when it comes to slaying the devil race, we have our natural talents. There won't be a problem. Yu Zivan smiled. The original devil race finally got a chance to show their glory after being bullied for so many years. The entire original devil race was invigorated after this battle. 
They had finally experienced just how effective the devil slaying arts they had practiced and drilled for countless years were. I'll immediately call over Guo Ran and Xia Chen to start things off. And you can arrange the elites of your race here. These two channels will be the hope of our future. Have the winged devils die without one being able to return, said Long Chen. These two channels were bait for the devil race's experts to come. As long as the original devil race could slaughter them all before they could return to report, these two channels would be cornucopias for the original devil race. Yu Zivan examined the two channels. The strongest devils that could pass through were the devils of the winged devil king race. No stronger races could enter. Hence, defending this channel shouldn't be very difficult. The only thing that made her worry was the magical beasts. Two days later, Xia Chen, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, and 3,000 members of the Dragonblood Legion arrived. Seeing 3,000 people with awakened manifestations made Yu Zivan jump in shock. The current Dragonblood Legion was shockingly powerful. When Guo Ran and Xia Chen learned that this Wild World's oars could be mined as they pleased, they almost went crazy with delight. Without a word, they got to work. This entire wild area immediately became bustling with activity. Long Chen didn't slack off either. He had to start refining pills again. Chapter 2139 Life Star Pills The battle in the wild world filled the original devil race with a newfound passion. They were obtaining a huge number of devil cores. Treasures that could strengthen their divine seals. Against the devil race, they had a natural advantage. Although the martial heaven continent also had channels to the devil world, they couldn't participate in those battles. Now. This was the original Devil Race's first battle against the Devil Race in many years. It possessed significant meaning. Practically, every expert of the original Devil Race had obtained a portion of the Devil Cores. The elites had gotten even more. Yu Ziaokian immediately went into seclusion to refine the Devil Cores. Yu Zivan had given all the Devil Cores from the Winged Devil King Race to her. Yu Ziaokian had only kept four of those Devil Cores. She had returned the rest to her mother startling her. However, Yu Zivan quickly understood Yu Ziaokian's intentions. When she had returned those devil cores, she had been completely red. That was because she didn't want to stay in the original devil race. She wanted to be with Long Chen. If she absorbed all the best devil cores, she would become the strongest warrior of the original devil race with the strongest divine seal. As a result, she would be critical to the defense against the winged devils and wouldn't be able to accompany Long Chen. Yu Zivan accepted the remaining devil cores. She herself refined a portion of them and then found suitable experts for the rest. That way, there would be other powerful warriors while Yu Ziaokian and Yu Zivan weren't present. The original devil race was filled with joy, but some people were even more excited than them. They were Guo Ran and Xia Chen. After setting up some defenses, they focused on forging. With the phoenix blood immortal gold and other divine materials, they slightly modified their designs once more. They wanted the armor and weapons they made to be even stronger. Last time, the weapons and armor that Guo Ran had forged only had the power of quasi-divine items because the materials and runes weren't strong enough. Having even more options now, he wanted to create even stronger ones. The two of them were filled with anticipation for their final products. As everyone got busy, Wild stood guard over the mining operation. He was anxiously waiting for magical beasts to send food to him. He and 1,000 Dragonblood warriors had become a roving defense squad. In just seven days, they killed over 10 12th rank magical beasts, with two being at the late 12th rank. Wild was in charge of facing the magical beasts directly. While the Dragonblood Warriors sought the opponent's weaknesses, this world's name had been completely changed to the Wild World. The original Devil Race was going through it step by step, and in just the preliminary scouting, they found 17 mineral deposits. Those were all extremely precious mineral deposits, with one of them in particular being a very rare spirit stone vein. They were essentially excavating money. The original Devil Race had sent almost half their manpower into the Wild World. As for Long Chen, he was refining pills. The moon and star refining furnace shook, and a blood-colored liquid flowed out of it and into a bottle in Long Chen's hand. He, the blue eye golden toad's essence blood has been refined. Its purity is even greater than expected. 
Long Chen smiled happily. These peak 12th rank magical beasts were treasures in and of themselves. In particular, the essence blood that could be refined out of their crystal cores was extremely pure. After all, that was where their life's essence was condensed. Long Chen had extracted all the precious parts of over a hundred magical beasts that he had gotten from wild. Their crystal cores, their skeletons, their venoms, teeth, everything that could be used, he extracted. Before this, he only had certain medicinal ingredients. Now that he had these treasures from the bodies of magical beasts, he could refine even more eleventh tier pills. I have the golden armor jewel heart, the earth cavern tree demon's demonic heart, the seven star water vines needon, flame crystal colored glass, and heavy earth essence. All five elements have been gathered. I can finally refine the life star pill. Long Chen examined the ingredients he had and smiled. The reason his cultivation speed was so slow was because he cultivated the nine star hegemon body art. Even after stepping into the life star realm so long ago, he had yet to reach the second heaven stage. Back when he had broken through to the life star realm, his life star tribulation had transformed into a dragonization tribulation. Due to the energy of the dragonization tribulation and his own accumulated energy, he managed to directly charge into the first heaven stage. At that time, he consecutively slew the various peak heavenly geniuses and then killed heavenly fate island's master, Ji Wuming, fully destroying heavenly fate island. Since then, his cultivation base had stagnated. It wasn't that he had given up on cultivating, but the amount of energy required to advance was astonishing. Others only had one astral space, while Long Chen had 108,000. Although each one was smaller, the amount of energy he needed for each advancement was thousands of times greater than others. If he just relied on normal cultivation methods, he would have to give up on advancing to the Nether Passage realm within the next few thousand years. Due to that, he had been constantly gathering the ingredients necessary for the Life Star Pill. Now, he had finally gathered all of them. Without the help of Meng Chi and the others, he could only rely on himself. He quickly finished the first refinement, and it wasn't that bad. He managed to refine three top-grade pills. That was already a bit better than he had expected. After all, this was his first time, and he lacked experience. The second time, he refined five top-grade pills. He refined ten furnaces of pills without pause and finally managed to refine nine top-grade pills in one furnace. One reason was due to his own experience with the refinement of this pill while another reason was because the moon and star refining furnace had memorized the refinement process. Long Chen tried out one of his pills. After consuming one, the 108,000 stars in his body began to rapidly spin, and his divine ring automatically appeared to absorb energy from the world. Long Chen nodded. This life star pill's effect was truly amazing. Even without experiencing the baptism of heavenly lightning, it possessed such a strong effect. Unfortunately, just one pill was not enough to cause any significant growth for his cultivation base. That was within his expectations. If others consumed this life star pill, they could probably advance a whole heaven stage. But for Long Chen, it was far from enough. Long Chen's excitement faded. The nine star hegemon body art was a bottomless pit. Who knew how many life star pills he would have to refine? He didn't have much time. Refining on his own. His spiritual strength wasn't able to keep up. He refined for 10 days straight, only managing to refine 3,000 life star pills. He needed to constantly stop and focus on restoring his spiritual strength every now and then, lowering his refining speed. To refine 9 top grade pills every time was practically cheating. Then he made them into tribulation pills. If that information was leaked, the entire world would go crazy. However, Long Chen was still worried about not having enough time. This wasn't efficient enough. After refining one last furnace of pills, then he left, going to the battlefield. Upon arriving, he saw Yu Ziaokian directing experts of the original devil race to clean up the battlefield. Seeing Long Chen, she smiled and ran over, holding his hand. This is the third battle. We've exterminated them every time. Xia Chen's formations are too amazing. We didn't let a single devil escape Xia Chen's formations allowed the devils to come charging out. 
but by the time they realized something was wrong and tried to flee, they found layers of restrictions preventing them from escaping. Then they were cut down by the original Devil Race. In these three battles, the Winged Devil Race didn't appear. Instead, there was the Titan Devil Race, the Huge Eagle Devil Race, and the Shadow Devil Race. According to Yu Zivan's analysis, this channel was most likely masterless. The Devil Race had accidentally found it. Otherwise, the ones attacking would have all been members of the Winged Devil Race. That was extremely beneficial to the original Devil Race they could continue reaping the devil cores. In these three battles, the original devil race only lost a few hundred people, but they had annihilated armies of billions of devils. Their devil cores only continued to make them stronger. The younger disciples were getting accustomed to battle and making fewer errors. Their casualties were dropping. As they got stronger from refining their devil cores, their advantage over the devils only grew. It went without saying that the original Devil Race's natural gifts against the Devil Race were amazing. Even Long Chen was envious. Having to block the invasion of the Devil Chi had been a pain for Long Chen. But Yu Zivan said that the divine seal of the original Devil Race, which repelled the Devil Chi, had been bestowed by an heir of the Nine Stars. However, he, another so called Nine Star heir, was constantly disturbed by that Devil Chi. Long Chen even started to suspect that he was a fake nine-star heir. As for the mining, it was progressing well. Although some magical beasts would occasionally disturb them, everything was under control with Wild and the Dragonblood Legion present. Long Chen roamed around and returned the corpses of the magical beasts to Wild. Those were his rations, and Long Chen had taken what he had needed to take. After seeing everything, Long Chen was preparing to go back into seclusion when he heard thunderous roars in the distance. Then, multiple terrifying auras began to rise. Could it be? Startled, Long Chen immediately rushed off in that direction. Chapter 2140 Drake Against Blood Phoenix By the time Long Chen rushed over, he saw that millions of magical beasts had charged into the Drake King's territory and started a crazy battle. The Drake race and the other magical beasts were in an intense battle against them. Everything was chaotic, with more magical beasts joining in with each passing moment. At first, Long Chen thought that it was a rebellion, but he quickly noticed that the magical beasts were split into two sides, and up in the sky, the Drake King was fighting a giant blood phoenix. It's the Beast King from the other region. Long Chen's heart shook. The Drake King had said that the Wild World was split into eastern and western sides. The Drake King controlled the east, while the Blood Phoenix controlled the west. Unexpectedly, the Blood Phoenix had led a sneak attack now. Long Chen examined the Blood Phoenix. Its blood-colored feathers actually had a flame burning within them. Wild runes whirled around it with every move of its body. Astral winds raged, and its sharp claws tore through the void. It was fighting evenly against the Drake King. Boss, not good. One of our minds has been destroyed by the invading magical beasts. There are thousands of casualties amongst the original Devil Race's disciples. One of the Dragonblood warriors rushed over to him with a report. The target of these magical beasts was the Drake King. They had simply coincidentally passed by one of their minds and destroyed it in passing. Although Wild and his defense squad had rushed over immediately. There was no way for them to stop this army. They had only been able to save a portion of the people working inside the mine. In his fury, Wild stayed in the mine region and started fighting some of those magical beasts. The other Dragonblood warriors guarded the original Devil Race's disciples as they retreated, and they sent one person over to report this to Long Chen. A bunch of uncivilized animals don't know what respect is. Then let's start a slaughter. Tell Wild and the others to come over here once the original Devil Race's disciples have all been evacuated. We'll help the Drake Race eliminate them. Killing intent blazed within Long Chen's eyes. In the end, there were always unexpected changes to plans. Yes, that warrior immediately left. Long Chen stepped through the air, charging straight through the battlefield. Masking his aura, he went toward one of the large blood phoenixes. That Blood Phoenix was currently fighting the Drake King's mate. The Blood Phoenix raked the Drake's back, ripping out a chunk of scales. But at the same time, it was struck by the Drake's tail, causing feathers to blow away in a wild whirl. Clearly, 
The Drake and Blood Phoenix races had been fighting for many years and were familiar with each other's fighting styles. As soon as the battle started, it became bloody. Die. Suddenly, Evil Moon came slashing for the Blood Phoenix's neck from behind. The Phoenix's head went flying, and blood filled the air. Just now, all its attention had been focused on its opponent, and in truth, although it had also injured the Drake, the tail strike had broken its protective divine light and shaken its insides. That was a more serious injury, and Long Chen had grasped that timing perfectly, striking it during its weakest state. The head flying through the air was struck by a wave of dragon breath from the Drake, which killed it in body and soul. Long Chen flicked a drop of blood at the Drake, feeding it a drop of his essence blood. You be the main attack, and I'll be the support, transmitted Long Chen spiritually. That drop of blood had contained his spiritual seal as it was much more convenient to speak spiritually. The Drake roared and charged after another blood phoenix. With it going all out and Long Chen launching sneak attacks at the right moment, another blood phoenix was slain. The Drake King's mate was second only to the Drake King and it also possessed a certain level of intelligence. The two of them were able to work together well. They picked out the strongest opposing magical beasts as their targets. The Drake would force a scenario where both sides were injured, and Long Chen would take that chance to launch a killing blow. They had no choice but to kill as many enemies as they could. Due to the battle with the Winged Devils, the Drake race's side had taken many losses and this sudden attack from the Blood Phoenix race put them at an immense disadvantage. The Drake King and the King of the Blood Phoenixes were busy with each other and couldn't interfere with the others. Due to the vast power discrepancy between the two sides, the Drake King's magical beasts were being slaughtered rapidly. Long Chen and the Drake King's mate ended up drawing quite a bit of attention. As a result, three of the Blood Phoenixes charged over. One of them opened its mouth, unleashing a ray of light. A warning came from the Drake, telling Long Chen that this was one of their strongest moves. Even the Drake race didn't like to receive this move head on. Boom. However, before the attack could be unleashed, the condensing power exploded, blowing apart the Blood Phoenix's head. Its corpse fell to the ground. Who gave you the courage to open your mouth in front of me? Guo Ran. At this moment, Guo Ran appeared in the sky, holding a new blood colored crossbow. He was looking disdainfully at the dead blood phoenix. Phoenix blood immortal gold. He actually used such material to create a divine crossbow. Long Chen instantly recognized the material. Suddenly, Guo Ran's crossbow blazed with runes. Long Chen barely sensed something fly out before he saw another late 12th rank magical beast get killed. Its skull was as weak as paper in front of Guo Ran's arrow. Even Long Chen was shocked. Another arrow flew and the second blood phoenix that was about to reach Long Chen was slain by Guo Ran's arrow. This time, Long Chen managed to see the arrow. It also looked to be made of phoenix blood immortal gold, but it was too fast for him to see it clearly. Guo Ran, nice job. Keep going. Eliminate all the powerful magical beasts on the other side, called out Long Chen. With Guo Ran's killing tool present, this battle would become much easier. These magical beasts weren't very intelligent and were just moving targets to Guo Ran. Thank you for your praise, boss. But I'm sorry to disappoint you. These demon slaying, evil warding, heaven shaking arrows. I only have three. Guo Ran scratched his head with embarrassment. In the future, can you show off all the way instead of stopping midway? Long Chen cursed. Seeing Guo Ran's insufferably arrogant arrival. He had thought that Guo Ran would be able to turn the tables on his own, but it was just a show that lasted only for a moment. There wasn't enough time. I had too much to do. There wasn't time to make any more, said Guo Ran helplessly. All this time, he had been focused on the Dragon Blood Warrior's weapons and armor. He barely had time just to create these three arrows. Just as Long Chen was about to respond, the third Blood Phoenix reached him, as its claw reached toward him. It was whipped away by the drake. Boom. Guo Ran unleashed another arrow, this one being golden. It struck that blood phoenix's eye, causing it to explode. The blood phoenix let out a mournful cry. You think without my heaven-shaking arrows, you can ignore me, demanded Guo Ran. His current crossbow had been upgraded. It was just that he was still using his old arrows. Although they could be used, they weren't as powerful as his new arrows. 
However, if shot in the eye, there was no way a magical beast could endure it. As that blood phoenix writhed in pain, its head was cut off by Long Chen. Guo Ran, watch out, shouted Long Chen suddenly. He saw two magical beasts charging toward Guo Ran. Damn it, time to run. Guo Ran hastily fled. He didn't dare to directly face these terrifying 12th rank magical beasts. He hadn't finished his new armor, and his old armor would be destroyed in one attack. Just as Guo Ran was about to flee, a giant bone club whistled down, sending one of those magical beasts flying. Wild had arrived. Wild's arrival signified that the original devil race's disciples in the mine had been evacuated. Guo Ran was delighted and shouted, Brother, well done. Let's work together. Guo Ran jumped onto Wild's shoulder. Wild had already transformed into a giant, and his power was limitless. He was able to directly face peak 12th rank magical beasts. Being the support, Guo Ran shot arrows at the eyes, nose, mouths, and throats of the opposing magical beasts. Although he might not be able to slay them, he was able to affect them long enough for Wild's Bone Club to kill them. The Dragon Blood Warriors had arrived. Forming into groups of dozens of people, they began to pick out their own targets. Their cooperation was seamless, and the targets they picked for themselves were killed one by one. The Drake race's side was originally at an immense disadvantage, but with Long Chen and the Dragon Blood Legion's arrival, they quickly evened things out and gradually began to gain an advantage. Long Chen worked with the Drake King's mate, killing over 10 powerful magical beasts. By this point, the Drake King's mate was covered in wounds. There was no way around it. It was picking out the strongest magical beasts for its targets. To give Long Chen the best chance, every move was practically a suicidal move designed to cause a lot of damage to its opponent at once. That's about enough. You can rest. Seeing that the tide had been reversed, Long Chen flew off on his own. More magical beasts had arrived from the Drake King's side, and the other side's defeat was essentially set in stone. Wild. Guo Ran. Let's kill that big fellow, shouted Long Chen, stepping into the battle between the Drake King and the Blood Phoenix King.